Good evening, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed way too many nachos, baked beans, potato salad, and uh, other chips and snacks. And now you're in a coma for the Superfish Bowl, which I have gone head-to-head -head with, the, with the Super Bowl before. I can hear myself. That's going to drive me nuts. Give me one moment. I got it. Uh, I myself am not big on the Sports Bowl. I'm not even sure who's playing. In fact, when I scheduled this, I had no idea it was the Super Bowl. But it fits my schedule, and that's how I've always done it, and how I will continue to do it. So here we are. We're going to give away, I think, a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to have some fun, I think. We're going to talk about some stories. going to answer questions. Yes, we passed 1 million subscribers. It's been uh, a long journey. People that know me in person like, what's it like? And I say, well, it's basically like yesterday or the day before. It's been coming for so long, and in fact, it's a delayed gratification because we were scheduled to make this way sooner. Uh, and then YouTube kept changing crazy stuff like uh, stories were all the rage and then shorts and all of this, and now we get less play than we used to uh, just because we make long-format content. But nevertheless, we've been fighting and pushing forward. Uh, you know, we've tried it all gone clickbait, not clickbait, tried other people hosting, not people hosting, uh, tried, you know, every type of content that we can think of. And after a thousand videos, here we are doing live streams again with a lava lamp, brought it back, dug it out of the garage. And uh, yeah, so what's old is new, I would say. And I've really been focusing on where am I taking Aquarium Co-op from here on out. Not just the YouTube channel, but, you know, we're going to talk about that today. Mostly I want to focus on uh, more educational content, which has kind of always been my thing. But I've been investing in equipment. So I bought a brand new PAR meter that res reads how bright lighting is. Specifically designed for underwater, which I had a PAR meter, but I bought another one. So, you know, kind of a $600 investment to just level up another notch. So we'll be getting PAR values for our lights and, and doing some more stuff with that. I have a whole brand new oxygen, uh, dissolved oxygen meter sitting in a box ready to go. Uh, what else did I buy? I spent way too much money on one inch acrylic spacers. So I can do that par meter, I think, to the best of my ability. It's literally hundreds of dollars in acrylic thingies. Uh, but it'll allow us to basically inch by inch read par meter or par levels. Uh, in tanks and things like that. And I think that's going to be beneficial when we are talking about lights and plants and uh, those types of things and really kind of continuing to move that stuff forward, which I know that stuff, uh, you know, I know that stuff won't necessarily grow the channel, but I know it's valuable info to have around. And so, um, yeah. Uh oh, Nightbot's freaking out. Well, we're going to use Nightbot to give stuff away, so um, let's see. Uh, trying to see. I'll look real quick and see if I can uh, if I can get Nightbot to behave itself. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Spam protection, maybe? Let's see. We're enabled for, if you're using too many caps locks... Let's, let's start disabling some of these to, uh, the time's out for only five minutes, so that's not so bad. Let's see, how do I turn it off? People are excited, what are you going to do? Oh, wait, right. big, big old disable button, we'll just do that. And we'll get rid of the emotes, and this, and this, and this, and this. All right, hopefully that has fixed it. Uh, let's see here. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, I want to talk about how we got to the million. There's been some people throwing some shade, which is fine. That's that's a day in the life of being a YouTuber. And uh, yeah, so I totally paid to get here. And what does that mean? Well, as you guys know, we've been working with YouTube for many, many years now. I, I don't know how many years I've been on YouTube. I looked, my oldest video that I started the channel with is actually uh, 11 years old when I filmed setting up the store. And for the last, I want to say like five-ish, I've been, I'm going to call it more on the inside track with YouTube. Uh, you know, I've, I've given talks at 
at uh, VidCon. Is it VidCon? Whatever YouTube's big thing is during COVID, uh, they had me be a speaker on memberships and things like that. And then we also work closely. We have a YouTube partner, but then we also work closely with some of the, the beta program teams. Well, rewind, I want to say like 18 months ago or something like that. And they, they came to us with a project called the Promotion Project. And that is actually out now for all YouTubers. And it's a way that you can pay to advertise videos, just like you could on Facebook or any other platform. Well, at the time, I, I tried to do it, and it was terrible. I paid $500 to test how this system worked, and we got 16 subscribers and never touched it again. But then, right before I went to Germany, I was like, you know, let's see if they ever got around to like fixing this thing and making it better. Uh, and so I did a little bit of testing, and it turns out, yes, they did. And so I was able to spend some money, and we advertised our Gravelvac video, and it did really well. Like we tested, I tested probably 10 different videos. And so uh, most of them didn't do that well. People didn't care. Like if I just told you to subscribe, no one cared. But if I showed you how to do something like Gravelvac, which that's one of our best videos we've ever made. And so I said, well, let me go and actually try and teach people and see how they respond to that. Well, it turns out when you teach someone something, they like to subscribe. And so that was good. And we got a, a bunch of subscribers, hit that million mark, honestly, way faster than I was hoping or anticipating because I wanted more time to get ready, which, whoops, good things happen sometimes. And uh, on the back of that also, so we had a little bit of plan spending going on, advertising as a business does, and out of nowhere, our shorts, which we don't do many shorts, but the short that teaches people how to gravel vac popped off and got millions and millions and millions of views, and that brought a lot of subscribers on top of that. So I was actually worried that I was going to hit it before I even got back from Germany, and that'd be awkward. Uh, but luckily, it slowed back down to a manageable thing. I kind of paused some of the spend there. And uh, yeah, so I myself have no problem reinvesting what YouTube pays me into growing the hobby and my business, Aquarium Co-op. And so we will definitely be using that kind of stuff, as we always have, uh, in the future, tomorrow, today, all of these things, because it's... Uh, you know, support, I want to say we're getting close to like 35-ish employees. To support all of them, we have to keep a certain amount of revenue coming in and eyeballs and all of these things happening, people entering the hobby, setting up aquariums, all of that. Otherwise, um, I can't support that many people. So we, we use a big team of people. We have a lot of people working on it. We've got people, you know, maybe it's just writing blog or I say just, it's not just, writing blog articles newsletters we've got mods in the chat here we've got the forum we've got the facebook group we've got paid ads on facebook and instagram we do uh some paid on youtube and even you know a couple months ago you guys saw that competitors like dustin's fish tanks and bulk resupply were advertising on the live streams it's kind of a normal thing for businesses to do and uh yeah i will continue to do it because i think it's a good idea the more people that want to follow what we're doing the better for us and so we'll keep growing that community uh, let's see here. Keeping fish simple at least answered my question. There's a big chat here, the Catfish Den. Uh, yes, and Keeping Fish Simple is live with Lucas. And uh, he was here last Sunday. That's why I didn't live stream. We spent the whole day. He got here at about 11. And I think I got home after filming and doing all that stuff. It was after midnight. So videos to come out on his channel and, and that kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm testing his food, by the way, which... Right now, I'll kind of give it the tip of the hat and say, hey, that food's pretty good. Crazy expensive, but it's pretty good. Uh, so if you look into that bug buffet, you know, I asked him, I had a double take, like, wait, it's seriously that much money? But it is good. Uh, just expensive. So, all right. I want to start with a giveaway. Uh, let, let's, let's see if my thing is working. I couldn't test it. It only works when it's live, supposedly. So we're going we're gonna to try one right away, and there's a bunch to give away. So... Uh, the first one we're going to try, we're going to try giving away a $50 gift card to Aquarium Co-op. Now, with all of these giveaways, what you have to do when you win, you have to email customer service, shipping at aquariumcoop.com. They're going to ask you a series of steps to verify who you are. So that way it's not just anybody goes, yeah, that's me. You have to be able to verify it, and then we can issue a gift card. Uh, so this one's going to be for... Uh, a $50 gift card and we're gonna we're gonna put something in the chat is what we're gonna do I just I almost messed this up and uh, let's see hashtag 
All right. So, as some of you may know, Murphy ended up passing away basically the next day after that live stream. I said he wasn't doing so well. Out of nowhere, lost equilibrium, and we ended up just putting him down the next day. He hadn't fully passed, but it was time just to put him down. He used clove oil, and uh, now he's in the freezer next to Hank waiting to be buried under a tree. Hopefully we'll get that done this year. It's been on the to-do list for way too long. Are, are we sad about it? Yeah, everyone's pretty bummed out about it. Uh, you know, it'll be it'll be nice when the word's out, everyone kind of knows, and we don't have to relive it every day, because it's just a bummer to be like, yeah. He was uh, at least eight. And I say at least because he was at least eight years old um, in video. But we had him longer than that. We had him since he was, you know, tiny. So, uh, Ladybird was in front of the same bat. She's thriving and doing well. So I don't know if it's, uh, you know, if it was something like hereditary, maybe led a stressful life at the store. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of led to kind of the blindness and, and some of the stuff that's going on, but long-term Ladybird will go to the new store expansion. And we already moved Elmer into the Murphy tank. Uh, no live camera or anything yet. Elmer's still getting used to people. He's a little bit of a clues. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll take it slowly. Looks like there's been a lot of donated memberships from Jeff Kane. That is awesome. Two bouts of 50. That costs some cheddar. Thank you very much. Hopefully everyone that just got that know that we do have live streams for members only coming up where we hire people. Uh, we pay them 500 bucks. We buy them a webcam. We buy them a headset. And then they present. I think the next one might be Mark Duffel. I'd have to double check that. Um, actually, I could check that right here. Uh, let's see. The next... Oh, they don't have... Wait, you're right here. Uh, no, not Mark Duffel. Mike Weiss on Breeding Epistogrammas. And he'll be doing that on the 17th. So next Saturday. So if you get one of these free uh, memberships, check out all the backlog. There's lots and lots of live, live uh, stream programming. There's also videos we've done, all the stuff we've done over the years. You also can, you know, sync up your account with the website, save 5% off and everything. And, uh, yeah. So, the first the first giveaway, you got to type in hashtag RIP Murphy. And we'll see if this works. It could break, and then we'll find another way. But it's Rip Murphy. And uh, so what I'll do, you put that in once. That'll enter you in over on this crazy screen over here. Then I click a button and it will choose one at random. I will call that name out and then it's up to you uh, to let us know in the live stream that you are here. You have to be here to win. Otherwise, this gets really uh, out of control. So, and that is some crazy chat. This is the Aquarium Co-op mug that will launch sometime this year. You got Enjoy Nature Daily on one side and uh, Aquarium Co-op on the other. So let those come in for, uh, you know, a, mi a minute, well, more than a minute, but let, let some time for that to happen. Um, clicking all the show. Some getting hidden, I don't know why. Ooh, that's a good idea, I just saw. Uh, I will be at, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the Fish Room. The store is called The Fish Room in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we're waiting on graphics to be designed. We'll make a Facebook event. I'll invite, uh, the store owner to it and we'll promote it and all of that. But we're going to do, it's on Saturday, the, I want to say second, I got to, I don't know where my calendar is. Let me pull up a calendar real quick. Uh, yes, March 2nd. It'll be all day. Uh, we're doing, we're going to give away some shopping bags. I'll sign stuff, take selfies, talk with anybody who's there. Uh, all day long, and then I think we're doing some Mexican food afterwards, so Dorkula will be with me. We come in Friday night. We're there all day Saturday, and we leave Sunday, and so if you're local, show up. I can't imagine too many events uh, are going on there, so make the time, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good time. I don't know, you know, last time I did a store event, there was several hundreds and hundreds of people, and the line was kind of long, but, uh, you know, we'll do our best. I try to keep the line moving. We try to have a good time. Usually, I encourage the store, make sure you have lots of good, uh, you know, fish for sale and all that, because you got all these people coming, and they're all fish nerds, and we all want to see cool stuff, and we all want to buy it. 
And then I encourage you guys to buy it. Like, you already drove here. You may as well spend some money and support this local store. So, uh, yeah. They asked, and it just happened to work out in my schedule. It's not too far away. And uh, I, I do want to do more of this. And so we're trying to do more. Uh, is Irene of Girl Talks Fish still working at Accordion Co-op? Uh, so normally, this is always awkward questions to answer because someday people don't work here and they might not want other people to know that. Uh, but yes, she still works here. She works here every week. Um, still doing blog and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. But if ever there is a time where I don't answer those kind of questions, usually know like, because I'm an employer, if they have a request, I have to honor it. Or if an employee was to be let go for some bad reason, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, so, you know, that's what the HR department would tell me and everything. And so, yeah, still working for us, still doing a great job. And uh, I still love her content. I, th I still believe she makes better videos than I do. Her informational delivery is second to none. She can crunch down information into an easy to understand way that uh, I can't seem to do. I, I'm long-winded. I'll get there. You'll understand it by the time we get to the other side of it, but you better pack a lunch because uh, it's going to be a long thing. All right, we're going we're gonna to try this thing out now. Um, I'm going to click the button, and we're going to see if it works. All right. How do I... Yeah, that worked. All right. So the winner of the $50 Aquarium Co-op gift card, the first one, we got a lot to give away, is Annie M's, A-N-N-I-E-E-M-M-S. Annie M's. All you gotta do is say, I'm here, I won. And you will send an email to shipping at Aquarium Co-op, could be today, tomorrow, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then they can go through the steps and, and prove all of that. But you do have to say you're here uh, to know that you're still here. And you got, I don't know, like five minutes, three minutes, something like that. Make some noise in the chat, and uh, we'll know. All right. Zenzo gave a talk at the Fish Club yesterday. He's got a strong handshake, and he's true. He does have a strong handshake. Yeah, uh, we're getting we're getting pretty big as a company, so there's always kind of stuff going on, whether it's work-related or not. Like, that wasn't work-related, as in Zenzo just did that because he's Zenzo. But we do get a lot of requests to go do events, you know, like, oh, could you send you, Dean, Randy, Zenzo, Irene, like, who else could come? And uh, we try to accommodate what makes sense with busy schedules, but, um, you know, there's a lot going on, so. Oh, I did say that Annie M's won by Nightbot. All right, Nightbot's doing some work. Although there's no, no message from Annie yet. Don't ghost us, Annie. Uh, let's see, I, I brought in, you know, I, I was trying to decide, like, do I try to, like, bring all the artifacts from back in the day? And I was like, that's just not who I am anymore. I still have them. I still enjoy them. Like the taco hat and all that. But, you know, as I was thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, I don't even really like Taco Bell anymore. Too expensive. Quality's too bad. I do have the hat. And I do love tacos. But, <clears throat> you know, you know how it goes. Are the giveaways U.S. residents only? Uh, for the Aquarium Co-op gift card, yes. Uh, there will be some that are uh, for USA and Canada. I tried to buy some gift cards uh, for, like, Europe, and it, I couldn't get it to go through. Like, my card was getting shut down, and so while well, I made an effort, it did not work. Annie is here. So, claimed by Annie, first $50 gift card, won. <clears throat> mostly I just wanted to give back that's you know a million subscribers makes us a lot of money let's be real and has built a business that's done very well and so I want to spend a couple hours just kind of giving stuff away giving back answering questions hanging out with the people so uh let's see here if ever what kind of designs would you choose for an all over printed button-up shirt I don't know. I feel like there's a lot to learn about uh, print that I don't know, but it would probably be something I would love to see freshwater art 
Uh, so often you see saltwater stuff done, and I just and and not not like trout and salmon and that kind of stuff because that's what you see. I would I would love to see like like one that's fancy goldfish. I would love to see one that's like apistos and carnal tetras and uh, like hatchet fish. You know, it would be it would be and that's what I would want to know. Like, how do you make the fabric? Could I just limit? hatch fish like up around the shoulder area or it's like no you've got to print like just a 10 billion mile long roll and you're just going to use that to make clothing you know there, I would want to learn all that kind of stuff because I would you know it would be I, I have to take it to the next degree that's that's my my problem I always have to so uh let's see here I did wear this shirt purposely because I was like, this is kind of OG uh, Corey shirt. My camera reset. Enjoy my hand here. I'm going to try and fix this. Oh, I updated my computer and it, uh, oh, now I've really made it wonky. And it changed a little bit. There, that'll, that'll work for now. It's just a little, it's a little higher than I like. So, uh, let's see. Pokemon button ups are nice. All right. I think I'm going to give away some more memberships. Let's see here. That was part of my... What? It will not let... Will not let me? Mm. Sometimes YouTube makes me angry. Even though I test it. It makes me angry when it doesn't do what I want it to do. I had it set up so I could buy extra ones. And now it's telling me I can't. But I'll, I'll try not I'll smart it this way. Yeah, right here. Right here. We're going to do this one right here. Any chance for an aquarium co-op titanium heater? Mm, yes, but no. Maybe. And the reason I say that is we would work on it, but I don't want to be like, yeah, next one is going to be titanium. Just because I'd want to work with a manufacturer that would, would recommend that. I'd want to know the specs of it. I want to make sure it's actually better. Um, you know, a lot of times the titanium is not actually titanium. When you look at a lot of these heaters that are sold as titanium or stainless steel, when you actually get into it, they're not. And they might be coated. They might have a little bit in there, but it's like the iPhone, you know, what is a titanium iPhone? And there's like, I don't know, there's the same amount of titanium in this sponge filter because it exists on earth. I mean, obviously there's more, but it's like not a lot. Uh, how realistic is the show tanked? I don't know. I mean, I wasn't there on the set. I would assume, like everything, it's a production. You know, if you ask me how real is Aquarium Co-op, I would say, well, as real as I can make it while people still watch it. You know, there's definitely days where it's like, hey, we got to redo that. Hey, we got to reshoot that. Dean, come up with a commercial. Like, a lot of stuff is planned, but... We keep it real loose. Sometimes, you know, Dean will be like, hey, I got an idea for a commercial. I just turn the camera on and we go for it. We don't redo anything. I'm trying to think of the last time we redid something. It's got to be a long time. Um, yeah, I did, my time is so limited for me. I just go, ah, it's good enough. Do it. People know what I meant or know what you meant. Let's roll with it. So, now the chat is screaming along, Dean. Hopefully, Dean's uh, feeling a little bit better. He, he hosted Keeping Fish Simple the whole weekend. So that guy was a trooper. Had him for like five days. Showed him the town. Uh, Aquarium Co-op. We sponsored the, the gas and the food and all of that uh, just to help out. And now he's, let's see if he's in. He's in Florida now because he's with Lucas. You've taken my hobby from one struggling tank to over 20 flourishing tanks. So thank you. Congrats on the one million. Well... That's kind of how I feel. 11 years, it's it's weird. It, it's almost like a, you know, if you've ever been at a corporate job where it's like, oh, yeah, we're having cake today. Bob's been here for 10 years. It's kind of that, where it's just like, yeah, if you can believe it, I've been doing this for 10 years and we're having some cake today. Um, you know, it, obviously, I love my job, and but... Just uh, never thought it would be this way. I mean, I hoped, hoped it would be this way. That's why I started YouTube. I was going to not shut the store down, but the way YouTube started was, I think in year three, 
Uh, I made $42,000 and we live in a high cost of living area. And I was working seven days a week and 12 hour days, lots of driving because we, I live 45 minutes away. And I remember telling Katie, well, I pretty much have to go all in on social media to make this have a chance because I'm not going to work this crazy hard to be this crazy tired. And at the time, Katie was supporting us uh, being a baker. And so she was a bakery manager and I would get home because at the time the store would close at 8 p.m. And then I had at least 45 minute drive home. So I'd get home at like nine and then Katie would have to go to bed like 930 or 10 so that she could get up for like whatever it was like that she had to be there at 2 a.m. to start baking. And so, you know, seven days a week, well, not seven days, five days a week, you're only seeing each other for like an hour. The other days uh, were both so tired. Like I'd still go to work, but she'd be tired because she had that crazy shift. And after doing that for years, you're kind of like, okay, we got to make more money doing this because this is just crazy talk. Like, yeah, I love fish, but, you know, she loved me and I love fish. And that's how it worked because I don't think anyone wants a spouse that is never available. So that's why YouTube or Facebook, something had to work. We had to grow the business so that I could afford to hire uh, other people to work so that it wasn't seven days a week and, and all of that. All right, we're going to do another giveaway now because I can. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a Nightbot link broken. It's probably spamming. Old. I haven't used Nightbot in so long. Nightbot in itself is old school. Let me see if I can hit all these timers. Join for a giveaway. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Club benefits should work, but maybe I'll just turn them all off. We don't, we don't need any extra spam. Let me tell you. We got 11, 1,178 people. Our record, by the way, a few years ago when we were trying to... So it used to be we'd have three to 500 people, and I love that many people. You can really have some conversations and delve into some problems people are having. And then we wanted to grow, right? Because the business is supposed to grow. So we're like, how big can we get this live stream, right? And so we kept working on it, working on it, working on it, working on it. We got it up to, I think, over 1,600 people live in the chat. So another 500 that we have right now. And it was just too crazy. So since then, I've gone out of my way to kind of torpedo myself. One of them might be hosting it during uh, the Super Bowl and, and kind of changing the times around. Because a sweet spot is like six or 700, I feel. And at 1,100 is good for us. But I don't think as great... Uh, for you guys to hold a conversation. It just, even though we slow down the chat and that kind of stuff, it's, it's just a lot going on. While fun, different vibe, you know? And uh, I kind of like it where it's a little more intimate scene and you get to know people and, and there's still, you know, there's, there's people that I know that have been hanging around for like the last three years. But every once in a while you see like, oh my gosh, it's that person. I haven't seen them in so many years. They used to be always in the live stream and hanging out. So... Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to line up the next, the next giveaway here, because I want to get through them. There's kind of a lot to do. All right, this one, you can enter this one if you're in Canada or the United States. So both of those. And, uh, this one will be for a $75 gift card that, that we purchased. We didn't, nothing was donated today. We purchased it all. Uh, to Dan's Fish, so recent affiliate partner with us, and uh, you know we wanted I want to support so and I, I really I just keep buying fish from him and I'm always on there I'm like yeah I should get some of these gift cards while I'm here, and so hashtag Dan's Fish hashtag Dan's Fish all one word that'll enter you in for the first seventy five dollar gift card for Dan's Fish. They ship to Canada and the United States, and uh, you can save 5% by using the discount code AquariumCoop or clicking one of our links, and uh, we get a kickback too. So really, I'm just, like everything, I take that money, you know, YouTube pays me, I put it back into advertising on YouTube. Dan pays me, I take it by buying gift cards and advertise Dan more, right? And someday, this will all pay off, and uh, we'll get to do more cool stuff. I mean, so far, it's paid off pretty well. We get to make products and 
not all of them uh, everyone likes. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But uh, we just keep making more. Do what we can. So let that spin up for a little bit. How was my visit with Nick? Lots of talking. Uh, he he was having, I'm going to call it like a fangirl moment. He grew up watching uh, me start the store and everything. Gave him a lot of inspiration, which is cool. And then seeing... When you when you meet people off of YouTube, you kind of get a you get a uh, a sense of who they really are, right? And it was cool to see that Nick is a true fish breeding nerd. So he was really geeking out with Dean and I, and that's super cool. Like he would breed fish, like I would breed fish, like Dean would breed fish with YouTube or not. Uh, now, would I live stream with YouTube or not? No, I wouldn't. I don't love live streaming that much. I mean, I like it, but fish breeding. I literally was sitting out in the fish room today and I was feeding frozen foods and I was watching going, I think now that we took Elmer out, there might be breeding activity with those uh, Cupido cichlids that I caught in Peru. So I do love breeding fish and uh, he does too. So that was cool to have that bond as opposed to just the YouTube bond, which is so common of like, yep, you know, we do the same works. What does reaching a million YouTube mean you get? Wait, on YouTube mean you get or the co-op gets? Uh, we get, we get a the one million version of the plaque. This is for a hundred thousand. I can't remember exactly when we got it. I do remember eating a taco off of it though, because that was much more back in the taco phase. Which I mean, I'm still in the taco phase, but yeah. So we had a gold one of these. You know, and this really they they have the mirror on there so you can you know look for boogers before you go live. That's it's actually a booger mirror is what it is. Um, but you know, I'll put one of these next to that, and it's mostly to to be a hundred percent honest. What does a what does a million subscribers mean? Nothing to YouTube, uh, but to other businesses, it's like a check mark of like, oh, they got a million subscribers. We maybe should work with them, and so. That will help, you know, open doors a little bit easier. But really, it comes down to views. There are people that don't have that many subscribers. They're getting tons of views. They're killing it. Um, you know, and, and even views is weird because you can look at a channel and they're getting a ton of views. But if it's all shorts, I think that's completely different than long format. Or if it's clickbait content, I think that's different too. And so the metrics I try to, to judge uh, us by our like retention time. So how long are you actually watching videos? You guys actually care? Do you just click in and go, nope, not for me? Or do you watch it? Uh, do you become members? Like, you know, our club has, I think, you know, what, what stuff we got tonight, maybe we're at 3,700 uh, paying members. So we're working on growing that. And that's a much more tangible thing for me. People are willing to pay money in exchange for what we provide them there. And I think that's a number that I pay attention to. Not not the people that don't pay me aren't worth anything. I'm not saying that. It's that, you know, for all I know, 500,000 of our stuff is bot accounts or it's all grandma accounts or, you know, it's all me. Every day I just sit here eight hours a day grinding with fake accounts, you know. But the those are the metrics I watch because I really, if I'm going to go spend money and travel the world and do this and, and try to put on a show that you guys want to see, I want you guys to actually enjoy it because it's a lot of work. Uh, as I was talking to like Chris Lukup and, and some other people and like Nick, I go, I don't think the average fan realizes that when he comes to do like a video at my fish room, right? One, it was 12 hours we spent just like filming and doing and, and hanging out. But it was also a 14 hour flight and he was here for five days to make it work. And so when we get see a boiled down version of like, Hey, that's a 30 minute video. Sometimes like, yeah, that was a week of someone's life to make it. And even more so with documentaries and stuff where it's like, that's a year, a couple years of someone's life. And so, you know, it's pretty crazy to me that we get these things where somehow it makes sense for a guy like Nick to come and spend a week to film in my fish room just so that everyone can watch it for free. And so the fact that YouTube can allow all of that to happen is pretty neat. And I think does wonders for our hobby. It, uh, you know, when I got into the hobby, it was all just pictures and forums. You'd take a picture, you'd ask questions, and try to learn. And that's actually why 
I got on YouTube originally, originally, because we were on YouTube before, like, we got to make YouTube work, uh, and I, I was just to document how to build, like, a fish room in the fish store, because I couldn't find anywhere to, how to do it, and so I said, well, if it doesn't exist, maybe I should be the guy that makes it, I don't know that I'm going to make it right, but it'll be something, everyone could watch it and go, don't do that mistake, do this thing, whatever it is, and, uh, yeah, so you got some shaky videos at the beginning, for sure, of like, here's what we're doing, trying to figure it out. And uh, I wish I had filmed a little bit earlier, hindsight being 2020, and knowing that this would still be going 11 years later, and the Corian Co-op was going to work. There were so many versions of, like, the racking system for the store we were building in a garage, and kind of testing and theorizing, going, I think this is the way we're going to do it at production. So we were basically doing R&D over a year before we even started building the store because I wanted a battle plan because we didn't have much money and it had to like hit the ground running and make these two by fours go even further than they're supposed to. So, you know, you're, you're bootstrapping it when you're sanding and clear coating two by fours instead of buying better wood because you just can't afford it. So, yeah. And yeah, uh, you only need to enter Dan's fish once. If you enter multiple times, I think it actually filters you out. So don't spam it. Just put in once, and uh, I would say that's probably enough. We can we can pull the winner for this one. We're gonna we're gonna hit the button. The winner is Nate's fish tank. You better live in in United States or Canada, and you gotta leave a message. If you leave a message, and you gotta email customer service, you get a seventy five dollar gift card to Nate's fish tank candy. If you're in here. You might want to write that down. It'll make our job easier later. Otherwise, I'll have to rewatch this and I'll write them down later. Uh, I'm a memberling. Ooh, why did I not name our members memberlings? That's such a gamer nerd thing that I would be all about. Dang it. I'm a memberling. Not always there on every video, but it's nice to contribute to the bigger picture. Well, thank you, Kingfisher's Catch. That's what I believe in. I mean, obviously... I get paid to do this, but uh, we do try and do things like we sponsor the medical boats in Peru. We bought them engines. We bought them a boat. We bought them medical supplies. We uh, did the we've done stuff for pets in the classrooms before. We did uh, you know the thing where we gave like thirty air pumps and and heaters and sponge filters and all of that uh, to the other classroom. We bought hams and turkeys for that as well. We try to do. You know, we, we don't put it all back into just charity because we've got overhead costs, but we do try to take that pool of money and reinvest. Like this week, we actually just finalized the six-year membership coin. Now, each one of these coins, you wouldn't you wouldn't know this unless you were manufacturing coins, but they're like a few dollars each for us. So they're not free, and they'd probably be a lot cheaper if we bought like 100000 at a time, but... We only need like, uh, you know, like a thousand of them for a very long time. Because like even if you're like you you hop on the aquarium co-op train right now, it's, you know, for the six year one, it takes a long time. I got to keep you invested for six years to get that coin. And so we're getting to the point where it's very few, um, you know, very few people. I want to say like 15 or 20 have gotten the five year Yeti member. This thing ain't cheap, let me tell you. But, you know, so we try to we try to provide stuff. And, you know, part of that goes into supporting stores and stuff too. You know, I'm going to go do an event. And we don't charge the store. So, you know, even though it's Katie and I with a uh, hotel room and flights. And then the bags we're giving away and all of that. We don't charge them for that. We try to go, okay, well, the people that are local to that will enjoy it. We take that out of the overall kind of budget of Aquarium Co-op. And try to make it work. So yes, they're buying stuff and that's helping. You're contributing with memberships. People are just watching. If you, Even if you just watch a video, ad revenue helps. All of it gets spun into this big pool. You're paying for people's uh, health insurance. You're paying for their paychecks. You're paying for all that kind of stuff. You know, it all just goes in this one giant melting pot. And then that's what we use it for. Could be, you know, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. If you go, I want to pay people's living wage. Or I want to pay health insurance, or I want to help develop the next product, or I want to give a charity. We're trying to do all those things. And so hopefully your, your contribution is that way for you. 
Five more memberships from Michael. Thank you very much. <laughs> New friends. Uh, I'm at one month. We all started somewhere. You got to think like this thing started 11 years ago. You click that upload button. You're like, ooh, sweet. Seven views. All right. You know, now, 11 years later, the first video we put out has 33,000 views. Most videos we do today you get more than that easily. But uh, it's the same amount of work. That's what a lot of people don't realize about YouTube is it's much harder as a smaller channel because you do all this work and you go, oh, sweet, I made I made $11 this month. Where when you're a big channel, you do all that work and you go, whew, we made $10,000. Now, you might have editors like we do. You might have staff and graphics people and the camera equipment and plane tickets and all that. But, you know, it is better. It's better to be bigger. So there is that for sure. Josh Davis with a membership and Tina. I love it. I love to see when people either get a membership free and pass it forward. I love that aspect. <coughs> Nate's fish tank hasn't hasn't uh, left comment yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a clock on it. Clock started. Otherwise, I'm re-rolling it. You better you better do it. You got a minute. We're watching it. Rescue dog treats. Nice to see you around. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, what do we got going on new at the store? I've been I've been meeting with the store manager a lot. We've been working on some programs, getting stuff going together. New fish. Definitely, if you're not on the forum or you haven't uh, checked it out, we have a newsletter going out every week just for retail people to kind of know what's going on. New fish and plants that look cool. Uh, new stuff on the website. We do have some tissue culture plants. They are selling out fast. Uh, I'm not wanting to bet the farm on them. And we can't buy as many as we want. I remember the first first week we said, we'll take 30 of each of these. And they didn't have them. <laughs> so uh, it looks like I could sell like a, the abuse a few hundred a week. But, you know, we're going to keep it slow and a little... I'd, I'd much rather sell out uh, and keep it manageable for the farms than just go crazy like so it doesn't do any good when you go hey we sold 400 a week and then we didn't have them for six months right it's better to go okay well we got some flowing in they can kind of keep up with that and so even though they're going to sell out quick like they have been and i know some people are complaining well we're slowly introducing people to what tissue culture plants are they're more expensive but we're bringing in some species that aren't as easy to get and uh kind of testing how it's going to do in uh in the wild Nate's fish tank is here, so he's got it. You win. You won. $75 to Dan's fish. Spend it wisely. You know, maximize that shipping box. The first box of doozy. That biggest box is like 50 bucks shipping. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can ship all of Dan's fish for 50 bucks. It's that small buck box that's disproportionate. Ooh, John Skolik with 20 subs. Or memberships, actually. And Kelly Formula with five. Welcome, new memberlings. Yeah, memberlings is so good. I might have to steal and use that. YouTube, sa YouTube says 3 plus. Bank statement says 5 plus. YouTube sucks. I'm in New Zealand, so I can't get coins or yetis yet. You've come a long way. Ooh, that, that that's an update for the store. Uh, I think it'll be coming out this week. We are doing it so that uh, if everything went right, and I haven't double-checked, so, you know, lock up the pitchfork. Because I'm not 100%. But you should be able to go in and get your membership coins at the retail store. You got to go in. You got to prove who you are. And I, I did all the coding on the back end that it should work just fine after we you know, sell them to you. They're free. You got to ring them up, though. And so that was a complaint. We hopefully have solved that complaint now. We're still working on international. My hope is that once we get some international partners, we will devise a system that makes sense for all of that um but we don't know yeah I, so the people that there's mods helping me uh when someone talks my app shows me so i can look over and and say oh yeah nate that nate said something so no worries there uh it will catch it or at least it has been so that doesn't mean it won't break 11 minutes from now uh let's see yeah, don't forget your water changes. That's right. That's right. Water change Sunday. 
Murphy plushie, please. We demoed, or not demo, we tried to make them, but we could probably sell them now because people would buy them because they were just so derpy. They were lovable, but they weren't that close to like an actual Murphy plushie. We tried. Um, and then it was just getting to be like, I'm pretty sure I could have made like a hang on back filter with the amount of work we're putting in trying to make this Murphy plushie. But I do have a really cool Murphy plushie out in the fish room that a fan made me. And it's pretty, pretty, like, it's much closer than the, than the, the factories we're working with we're getting. They just, they didn't under, like, they, they don't understand that it's not a saltwater fish. They don't understand the personality of Murphy. They don't, like, they just see a picture and they're like, is this like it? And they're like, that's not like it at all. Like, that's, no. So, maybe someday. Don't forget to click that like button. Yeah, that's right. Click that like button. The derpier, the better. Yeah, there, there's definitely, you know, over the years now we've been doing this. There's definitely, I'm going to, I'm going to put you in my camp where you can appreciate the derpiness and you're like, I love how messed up that is. And then there's the other camp where when it's not perfect, they have to write like a 72 page essay, bad review on every platform they can find. Um, even if you were like, this thing is not perfect. They're like, well, it should have been. Here's how you should have done it better. And so I, I, mean, I try to avoid that because it just it just bums me out when people are sad. Although now that he passed away, it's like more of a uh more of a reason to get the plushie going. Will I be present at the expansion? The retail store expansion? Yeah. We're gonna plan an event. My my thought process on that, once we get it open, we'll be stocking it with fish, then we'll open. And then we'll let make sure everything's running really well. And then we'll plan an event. Like maybe it's like a month or six weeks after we open. Make sure everything's flowing and working right. And we're maximized fish. Because adding that many fish tanks, you got to get a lot of fish. And I don't want to overwhelm our systems. I don't want to overwhelm our staff. I also want to make sure I stock enough cool stuff. And not just like, yeah, you have 32 tanks of, of white clouds. Why? Like, well, we had to fill them. So I want to get a big variety of fish going so that when you do make that uh, pilgrimage to the Aquarium Co-op expansion, you're like, whoa, they had so much stuff. And because we limited ourselves to basically planted community tanks, it's going to be a crazy selection. We're not just going, yeah, just fill it with African cichlids. That'd be easy, but we're not doing that. It's going to be even more selection. So it's going to be one of those, like, if we don't have it, I don't know who's got it. Because we have filled way too many tanks with uh, planted community fish. Steen Fod Aquatics, congrats, buddy. Yeah, it's been a long time, bud. Long time. Uh, let's see here. Your first live stream? Wow. It's our... Oh, I didn't put the number in this one. It's like our 269th or something? Yeah. Let's do another giveaway, because how, how far are we in? We're 48 minutes in, and I've done, what, two? And I got a lot to do. So, uh, let's see here. Click a button, click a button. For this one, for this one, hashtag. For this one, if you win, United States only. All right. Choose a light of your size that you would like, and we will ship it to you. So it could be a 12 inch, all the way up to a four footer, give you a brand new Aquarium Co-op Easy LED. Um, but the hashtag is hashtag light, L-I-G-H-T. I knew it, someone was like L-I-T-E or L-I-G-H-T. I should have trolled you and did L-I-T-E, but it's L-I-G-H-T, we'll get that going here. Uh, let's see. We also, if you're, you weren't aware, we gave away some lights uh, in the Facebook group as well. And so, you know, I don't, I don't go out of my way to give away all the time. I learned that over 11 years. If you give away something every time, people just get angry when you're not giving away the thing they want or like give away more. And so that super bums me out because even though we're a corporation, uh, I have a soul and a conscience. And so... If I feel like I'm going out of my way of like, I'm going to make my life harder and do more work to give something away and then people are angry about it, I just go, you know, I just won't do that. So I try and do it few and far between so that people are like, oh, that's cool. Thanks for doing that. And uh, not let people 
you know, go, where, where's the thing? So, uh, let's see here. Yes, only do the hashtag once. You do it more than once, you actually disqualify yourself. It's a setting right here. It says if they spam it, uh, it's anti-spam. So, yeah, you don't want to disqualify yourself. If you did it twice on this one, ah, just do it once on the next one. No worries. Is it case sensitive? Nope. Nope, it is not. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to buy some more memberships. Let's do it. Let's buy some more. Buy, buy 20 more. Why not? Why not? He says. Let's see. We got we got Valentine's Day coming up. We're going, going to see the Princess Bride. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. What else do I got? Oh, my grandma's birthday this week, too. She's going to be 9. It's either 91 or 92. I'm not, even, I'm not even sure if I remember. Got that this week. Got a live stream next Sunday. It's going to be a busy one, guys. I did like someone's idea in the pre-chat. We should have done Super Bowl commercials. And maybe I'll make this a thing where I try to do a live stream every Super Bowl. And we make some super cheese ball <laughs> commercials, you know, like we, you know, people spend millions of dollars making these commercials. We should give ourselves like an $11 budget and, uh, have like a bunch of people in the company try to submit their best commercial. And then I had something else. What else could we do for the super fish bowl? I can't remember, but I just thought that'd be hilarious. Like, and let's roll the next commercial about like airline tubing or something. And I'll be using it as a leash for like Tinky. My grandma turned 93 last December. I'm getting up there. My grandma's getting ornery. <laughs> Mary Bot got a membership. All right. If I pause my subscription and then start it back up a month later, does it keep record of the total subscription time? It does. Uh, so if you were like subscribed for a month, took a month off, subscribed for a month, you would have two months. It wouldn't be three months. You can't like start it, wait six years, and then start it up and be like, it's six years. It would be two months. So that's, that's how the YouTubes works. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me let me think here. My brain not working. I was going somewhere, but do I have a favorite plant currently? Mm, right now. I would say my current one that we're trying to grow out, uh, trying to source and find the right variant. So a lot of plants, if you don't know this, they're what's called a culti cultivar, so a cultured variant. And there is a, a well, it's going to be a mouthful for you guys. There is a certain Lidernia rotundifolia that I absolutely love, and the leaves look like little watermelons. I've got one in the fish room right now that we got, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's not its not as good of one as ones I've seen and had in the past. So we're trying to source that so that we can supply farms with it and get them growing it, and then hopefully supply it to you guys. Now that that whole timeline's like an 18-month thing, uh, but working on it. So, you know, one more thing that we're trying to do, it's, it's not like we're inventing the plant, the plant exists, but... Uh, I think it's going to be easier to grow. We can work with the farms and knowing that we have to, we'll have demand for it. Uh, we'll allow them to put the time in to cultivate it, to grow it, to get it to market. And uh, at least here in the United States, it hasn't been readily available. Some imports will have it sometimes, but it hasn't been uh, reliable in my experience. So that's what, that's, that's just, you know, that's what I'm enjoying right now. But if you'd asked me like three months ago or six, no, last three months, like eight months ago, I'd be like Crip Nuri, which we're selling that on the website now in a tissue culture form. So yeah. Do my $450 fish ever color up? No. I ended up putting mollies in the tank. They're still in there. The mollies look, you know, my my, my $100 mollies look way better than my $450 uh, Cipachromus. But I'm, I'm still hopeful. Hopefully they'll breed. Hopefully they just... My, my, my actual fear is this wild caught fish. You never know how old they are. And so you could, they might just be aging out like every month they might get worse color 
just because they're like, oh man, they're really old. So I'm hoping it's not that. I hope they figure something out. Justin E with five memberlings. And Rob and Anna Davis with one. Thank you. Am I working on getting those orange fish from the Germany video imported in? I love to look at some of those and would love to see them over here in the U.S. There's a few places that have them in the U.S. In fact, Dan's Fish has them. So we're getting out some gift cards. Uh, I think the Wet Spot Tropical Fish has them. They're all expensive. They're they're new and all the rage. Uh, so we got to wait for more people to breed them, them to come down, the hype train to wear off. But yes, they are dope. And I think they're very cool. And I do want more. That's neat. People can thumbs up other people's super chats. Hmm. I didn't know that's a thing. Uh, let's see here. Did I ever figure out that Wavemaker app? Yeah, it works well enough. I need to I need to yell at it some more. I feel like someone just asked me and I missed it if I was going to Aquashella. Uh, the answer to that so far is no. Not planning to. Uh, we've got we've got a super big project <laughs> this year besides the store expansion that every every thought about a vacation, spending money, doing anything is put off until that super big thing is done and we can announce it. Um, so, you know, it's it's going to be a game changer for us. It's stupid expensive. It's risky. We've been planning on it for years. And it's go time. So uh, we will see if it pans out. According to Co-op Crocs, I, I do have two different pairs of Crocs now. I, I I wouldn't call myself the Croc connoisseur, but I am full of full of Croc. Uh, Nikki Fufu, <clears throat> an old school name. Miss you guys. By the way, got four puffers and I'm loving them. That's good to hear. How's my new fish room chair? It feels like you're sitting on five hundred dollars. Let me tell you, everybody loves it, but myself also has the same feeling of like that's a five hundred dollar rolly stool, and uh, I I can't I can't really justify it to the average person. I can can't even really justify it to me, other than I am spending more time in the fish room, and your back will start killing you if you're trying to film or take pictures. And I'm trying to do more pictures, uh, and I'm actually working on website. Uh, product photography to kind of make some things easier to understand uh, just for the average person. So it's one thing to tell them, tell you something. It's another thing to show you. And so I'm working on better ways to show you guys on the website, certain things. So yeah, as a, as a, as the owner of the channel, won't let me like someone's thing. What is tissue culture? Okay. Tissue culture uh, is, I'm going to roll this by the way, let's see here, the winner of the light, Allison H. You've got some minutes to uh, say you're alive. You're a warm body here at the uh, Chlorium Co-op Superfish Bowl. A tissue culture, they basically take a tiny bit of plant and they put it into a sterile environment with some growing media. It used to be gel, now the latest ones are using a uh, certain liquid, and they put it in this container, kind of like, I call it like a pudding cup with a clear lid on it, like a, you know, you have to tear the lid off, right? And you let that grow for a few months in a refrigerator, basically, and then you got this healthy plant that has no duckweed, no algae, no snails or anything, and then you mark that thing up a billion times, and you sell it for too much money, and that is a tissue culture plant. Now, that being said, it's a very good way to propagate rare plants and keep them pretty sterile. And so, you know, we tested out a few other ones. There's some competitors and stuff that we tried and they were like molding and having issues. And so like, well, we're not doing that. One was covered in like saran wrap. And I was like, what is this? And they were using like, uh, you know, like if you get like ketchup or or like tartar sauce, like those little containers to go, little containers, like that ain't it. Um, so we ended up going with Tropica ones, and, you know, I visited uh, Tropica and stuff when I was in, in, in Europe, and of course, they, you know, the parent company of Tropica was like, don't worry, we got you, bro. 
We got all the plants. You, you, you give us all your money, we'll give you all the plants. Like That's how this works. And then, of course, I come back to America, and I'm like, hey, Tropica, you know, North America, I'd like to give you my money. How about you give me the plants? They're like, well, we'd have to have plants for you to give us the money. Try again next week. And uh, that's kind of how it's been going. So, oh, the like spike. All right. In, in 11 seconds, you're going to click the like button. Ready? 11, 10, 9, 8. We're still waiting on you, Alyssa, or Allison H. 4, 3, 2, 1. Click that button. Do it now. Beat the algorithm. Sounds like a tissue issue. Kind of is. You can get like 20 stems in a tissue culture, though, or like 10 crypt plants for 15 bucks. That is very true. Like, honestly, tissue culture plants are a rad deal, but America, we live by bigger is better. And so, one, like I see it all the time, people want to buy like a mother Amazon sword for like $32, and then they watch it die back, where the reality is your money goes much further buying these little babies that, yeah, they die back and they grow, and you have less transition time. So, but the average public is, no, -uh, bigger, better. And so over a long period of time, I think people will come around to tissue culture. I think over time, as they get more popular, they'll get cheaper in America. But it's going to be a slow road to get there. Allison says hi. All right, Allison. Send an email to shipping at And they'll go with steps to prove who you are. And after the full, full, full background check. We will get you a light of your choice sent to your door. Maybe even get it done the first time. Who knows? See if uh, the shippers want to cooperate. Congratulations. Is there a link I have to join for the giveaway? No, you just use a hashtag when I say, now's the time to type it in. Yes. All right, let's, let's do another one. Because I'm enjoying it. Another keyword. Hashtag. Names. All right. This one is going to be for a $50 Aquarium Coop gift card. Hashtag Nerms. If you've been around, that's a normal person that's a closet fish nerd. And so, you know, I was a closet... Well, I was just a nerd. I was going to say closet nerd, and then I realized, like, that's that couldn't be further than the truth. I'm just a giant nerd. Uh, but there's a lot of people that will be nerdy gamers that are, like, normal people in real life. And I think there's a lot of fish people that way, too. You meet them, and you're like, oh, you're a normal functioning human. You, you don't have 942 aquariums? You only have 26? Wow, you, you got it together. Okay. And you kept a family. Good on you. And you have a full-time job? Wow. How do you find the time? What a nerve. All right. $5 from Captain Calam Calamari. Uh-oh. How do you dial in your light settings? I'm having algae issues, but difficult, but have difficult plants that need a lot of light. We have some articles and blog articles on that, but essentially, planted aquariums are a balance between lighting fertilizer, and CO2. In my experience, changing one of those at a time is the least troublesome. So make sure you're on a timer. And I would wager that even your difficult plants don't need that much light, but I don't know what they are. So maybe you start with like, okay, I'll put my light at 70%. I'll be dosing my fertilizers. And it takes time, by the way. It's Growing plants isn't a thing like, so let's say you go to Home Depot, right? And you buy yourself a rose bush and you put it in your, your, your ground and you go, well, I bought the, I bought the rose fertilizer and I bought the plant. And then you like, you come out the next day and you're like, where's my roses? Takes time. The roots got to unpack. Like it's got to adapt. You got to make sure you got the right pH, all that same thing. So even if you got all the settings, perfect, it's going to take time. And usually with plants, it takes a whole season. Well, we don't really have seasons in aquariums. So like at least 
three to six months before like, hey, this thing's really going good. It's really got really, you know, I've learned a lot about it. It's growing well. And uh, your aquarium's the same way. Every You're making changes, adding fish, changing foods, trying fertilize, changing the light, doing this. You got to let it kind of mellow out. And that's hard to do when you're new because you don't know, like, well, what does mellow out mean? Like, how much light? How much fertilizer? What what am I doing? It doesn't look very happy. And so you've got to kind of find your rhythm with that. And that takes time. But once you kind of just let it mellow out, you start going, okay, algae is still there, but starting to go away a little bit. I bought myself a couple algae eaters. That's helping a little bit. Yeah. Your videos got me back into fish. I was super into it for six or seven years ago and had planted in brackish tanks. I came across your channel again about a month ago and I'm ready to jump back in. Starting small. It's a good idea. It's real easy. I go I go back and forth between those, uh, you know, like, what if I just set up like 80 aquariums next week? And then like, wait, I actually have to take care of those. So maybe... I honestly think if I could redo my fish right now, I would have more nano tanks. 40 breeders, like if I have 13 tanks or 12 tanks or whatever I have, if each 40 breeder takes me 30 minutes, like, ooh, but if they were 10 gallon tanks, each one of those would only take me like 10 minutes. So I could have more species doing more things. Nikki Fufu with 10 memberships, making new memberlings and the fish room. From Albuquerque with five memberlings. Uh, let's see. I have an Amazon sword shooting out runners in the water column. Can I cut them and plant them? Yeah. I usually wait till I get a little bit of roots, a little bit of a little bit of that going on. Then I clip them and plant them. Uh, if you clip them without the roots, then you just have the crown and they want to lift off. But if you just keep letting it go, it'll make a bunch. And eventually it goes, hey, here's my roots. You could either just bend that whole thing down and plant all of them in a line or... Give them a little clippy, clippy, clip, clippy, and put them around and give some to just friends. Amazon swords, once they're producing, they're going to make way more than you will ever need. I promise you that. Keep being awesome. Oof. All right. I will say it is it is hard. Uh, it, you wouldn't think it, but to be chipper and, you know, I was reading, I was reading on Reddit on how a bunch of people hate me today. It's good for the soul when you just stumble upon that. Scroll on Reddit, and all of a sudden, you're like, oh, it's Aquarian. Oh, yeah, we hate this guy. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's good. I thought about, like, just leaving a little message, like, logging in, like, oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> you know, and it's it's not that people actually hate me. It's just that's the way, uh, you know, that's the way the world works is you're not going to resonate with everybody. You know, I make fun of FX6s, you know, cancer filters, and some people's identities are tied to how many FX6 filters they have on their 55-gallon tank, you know. Uh, it, to me, <laughs> to me, the person that's got like two FX cancer filters on their 55 is the same, the same person that has the, the Honda Civic that you can hear from 72 miles away, but it's been in six accidents and it barely runs and it backfires, but they still like the minute you get that car, you're like, how could I make this thing more annoying? I'm gonna do that. Now, that being said, I've been that guy. I had a a Datsun 1977 280Z that I bought with a uh, wide mouth throttle body and really loud exhaust and a big stereo. And I thought that was cool because I was like 17. I quickly learned that sucks. When you need to drive like four hours to go somewhere and you just hear that the whole time, like never again. Now, every car since then always like, how quiet can I make this thing? So kind of same thing. How easy can I make my filtration? All right, uh, let's let's pick a winner for the NERM giveaway, shall we? Let's roll it. Sean Rose, how fitting. After just talking about roses, Sean Rose, you got a couple of minutes to speak up, buddy. Is a flow attachment for the sponge filter too much flow for a five-gallon aquarium? No. You can adjust the flow by using a little valve, or if you have, like, our air pump, which would have been awesome to have right here, but it's over there. Uh, you can dial it down. So I would say no. No, I wouldn't. Blue Ball be tripping. Blue Ball is tripping. They're tripping how good they are. They're good and bad. I'm always conflicted with like, 
you guys got too big and now you kind of suck, but you make amazing products, but you do things that make no, that make no sense. Like anybody put everything aside and just in like in the last two years, I think every hobbyist on the planet agrees don't make two UV sterilizers, one to fit FX6s or the FX line and one to fit the Fluval uh, like 408 line, 40 series. Like everybody on the planet's like adapters, don't launch two products, launch one. The local store can just carry one. I can just go buy it. I don't have to go. Which, uh, uh. It, it, it's decisions like that where I'm just like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it wrong? And then lately they launched the two uh, the two bioreactor CO2 makers, right? Only the large one comes with a pressure gauge. And so, like, everybody that buys a smaller one is just getting screwed going, ah, the thing, what? No. So it's stuff like that where, you know, I'm pretty sure it's just the right hand can't talk to the left hand. That's right, talking hands. And they just crush themselves with, uh, you know, just those decisions like, what are you guys doing? Like, you got to work together here. Well, we had one team designing the small one, one team designing the big one. And uh, we decided to release them both. And uh, one's clearly just better than the other. Who knows? All right. Uh, oh, Sean Rose. He responded. Congrats. I would still love to see a thousand Cooley Loaches and a 125. What about like a hot tub type of setting that just had... 4 billion clown loaches, or not clown, well, clown loaches too, but 4 billion coolie loaches. How gross would that be? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hope my boyfriend Chattanooga Ed and I'll see you soon. I hope so too. I hope so too. Let's give away another Dan's Fish gift card. Shall we? Let me, let me set it up. Uh, the keyword, hashtag... Mm. Ooh. It's going to be hashtag aquarium coop because that's the discount you get when you use it at Dan's Fish. Ha, got him. Hashtag aquarium coop. We've only been trying for like 10 years to make hashtag aquarium coop a thing. It's on our tape. We use it all the time. And uh, I think I think it's starting to catch on. I think, I think one day I'll see someone else use it besides me. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Made myself a glass of chocolate milk. Now, you know how to get crazy. When we, when we buy houses, which we've only done twice, we moved twice, uh, we take a shot of chocolate milk from our aquarium co-op mini measures. I don't have any here, but, you know, we don't we don't drink or, uh, or smoke or have coffee or anything. So about as wild as we get is chocolate milk or a milkshake. I've got platies, blue platies, that are not breeding true. Some orange in them that I got from the box store. How long would it take breeding them to get them to be blue? My guess is mm, a year. Now, so you've probably got these blue ones, and you've selected for like, hey, I want the blue ones. But they're kicking out some blue and some orange. Now, if you take the ones that are blue, and you breed those, the babies of those, you're going to go, hey... They still kicked out orange. Yeah, but you take those babies, you breed those, and now you're going to be like, whoa, those are like 95% blues. And as you just keep kind of doing that and culling out the orange ones, you'll set that line. And so when it used to be, back when the internet seemed to be a little more, uh, a little more reputation, less like, oh, there's 700 sellers selling the same thing. They would say how set or how true the line was breeding. And so they'd be like, oh, yeah, like 70% would be coming out blue. Uh, and then you would you could just look and be like, okay, well, who's got some that are breeding like 92%? And at most, you're going to get like 98%, maybe 99%. You're still going to always have to like cull. And by cull, I mean just remove them. Put them in any other, you know, aquarium or sell them or, or whatever you're going to do. But if you just let them sit there and breed, they're going to start breeding back the way you don't want if you don't want the blue ones. And so I've got that a little bit going on in my blues right now. I'm actually going to probably rehome next time I go to the store two or three of the males out of there just to tone down that breeding. Kind of kind of a little crazy up in there. Hold on. I want to look. Oh, wait. Nice. 
I like uh, uh, the Lido Jr. Congrats on the one year. Nice haircut. I look forward for more videos. I just like your little Jetsons icon. Can I help you decide what filtration on a 40 breeder, canister, hang on back, or sponge filter? Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. I believe your tank needs air no matter what you choose. If you choose a sponge filter, your job's done. If you choose a canister filter, get yourself a canister filter and an air stone. Uh, I think it really depends. Is this in your living room? Is it in a fish room? Is it in a kid's room? Is it far away from a sink? I think all those things matter. I think, you know, I could probably boil it down to if you own one aquarium and you want a canister filter, do it. You own three aquariums? Ah, maybe you go hang on back. You own 10 aquariums? Ah, just go sponge filter. Unless it's your show tank. Hmm. Which would be, wait, which would be the second, the Dan's Fish, so I'm guessing 50. The, this is a this is Dan's Fish, $75 gift card. $75 gift card. If I said 50 before, I'm crazy, and that's not true. It's $75. Number two. Number two. Number two. Flamingo Hurricane is the best name in the stream. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Shrimp Sanctuary. Congrats on the 1 million. Happy Lunar New Year 2024 from Singapore. Yeah, the new year, it's the year of the dragon. And if you're as nerdy as I am, that's pretty cool because I pretty much uh, I pretty much love to slay dragons in video games. So I'm that kind of a nerd. So I'm slowly changing mostly to sponge filters in my fish room. I love sponge filters. And I hate cancer filters, but I have to run them. Like on on big tanks, like the 800 gallon, the 360 gallon, the 1500 gallon, you don't want to have to go swimming to get it. So I like to use cancers on the outside. Now there's now there's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Flynn's Fish Forum. He's grown up. He used to be a little kid. He used to make videos. You can click on his channel and go see when he came to my store. And the dude was like 13. And interviewed me. Did a good job. And uh, now he's grown up. Become a man. He's much more into uh, planes, trains, and automobiles now. But yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Haven't heard from you in a long, long time. Look at that. He had some time after work. What a grown up. Uh, goldfish are said to turn into dragons when they swim up a waterfall. That is the coolest piece of lore. I need that somehow in my life. I always think of of koi, like long pin koi, kind of looking like dragons. But I I love I love that. I don't know. I'm 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 into that somehow. What happened to running a big sump with filter pads on my big tanks? I feel like I remember you doing that with the 800 gallon when you got it started. Uh, I do like sumps. I don't like sound because I'm always recording and having to like edit that out of every recording we do. And so like the new studio, when we built it, I call it studio, it's a fish room. The new fish room when we built it. Hey, I do have that shot glass here. A little mini measure. Uh, I wanted to be as quiet as possible so that one, it made editing a lot easier. And then two, I bought another gadget. I didn't even tell you guys. Well, I guess if you're on the, the Facebook page, you saw it or the group. I bought this cool DB decibel meter and I tested air pumps. Our air pumps are technically slightly quieter than whisper air pumps, but it, it's like the same. So like, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to start a campaign and advertise like we're quieter. It is dang near the same thing. Uh, but I had to unplug the air pump, the big air pump for the room to get the noise floor as low as possible. So I'm going to work on even getting that quieter. And where's all that going? The sump, which we still run one in the store, but the sump, they typically have more sound. Now, it's not a crazy amount of sound, but even canister filters have a hum to them. And when you're doing lots of tanks, big spaces, and all that kind of stuff, and you're filming in there professionally all day long, every day, not every day, obviously, but it matters. And so that's where we, we deleted the sumps. Like all the warehouse tanks, they're all set up on sumps and everything, but sound's not, we're not filming there. 
Um, so it was mostly that, which the average hobbyist, that's not, you're not gonna worry about that. So that's, that's the reason why, but it doesn't really affect you guys. Surprises one of these days, just stream WoW. You don't want to see my skills are too good. Just, I should have just streamed season of discovery this whole time. Just, just sit here being a dege degenerate the whole time. Just, oh, my eyes are bleeding playing too many video games. What's the new hashtag for the most recent giveaway? Uh, that would currently be hashtag aquarium coop. You got like 30 seconds to get your last one in if you haven't done it, and then I'll hit the button. My co-op air pump is quieter than my whispers. I got a big old device that proves it. Barely, though. It's it's barely. It's like a th like one-tenth of a decibel quieter, which is... is Which they're both really quiet, by the way. So... Uh, so that's part of the pictures and the video and all that kind of stuff I want to do with this channel is like build the scale, right? So the scale, like a quiet library. So if you've ever gone to a public library and it's quiet, that noise floor is 40. My fish room with the air pump unplugged is 42. When you plug in the, uh, when you plug in our air pump or the whisper air pump, it's 42.5 to 6 between both of them. So it's still basically a super quiet library in loudness. And so I wanted to make that quick video just for uh, customer service because some people will be like, I'm pretty sure I ordered an air pump, but what you delivered was a chainsaw. It's so loud. My grandma, seven states over, can't sleep. And we're just like, what? And we asked for a video thinking like, okay, maybe it's a bad one. And then you listen to the video and you're like, no, that's, that's how an air pump sounds. But some people, their auditory system works differently, different frequencies, different vibrations. They just hear it night and day difference than we do. So, you know, but this way we can at least, you know, prove like, hey, this is how many dBs it is. All right, I'm hitting the button. Hitting the button. Roll it. The winner is Dale Kennedy. Dale Kennedy. I repeat, Dale Kennedy, you're being paged. Dale Kennedy, you're being paged. You need to leave a comment as soon as possible. You've won a $75 Dan's Fish gift card. By the way, if you want these gift cards, try to spend them within 30 days because otherwise I got to do the button. I got to reissue them. Like, they, they, I don't know, some crazy system, but if you spend it within 30 days, it makes my life easier. That's all. Hmm, you got an air pump that was louder than the other ones, but it settled down after a couple of days? Yeah, let us, I mean, that kind of stuff, if you let us know, that's helpful. Just because we can, we track everything we do, and we can put like, hey, one that was a little bit loud, quieted down, we'll put that here. And if we see a pattern, like, hey, one out of 100 has that. We bring it to the manufacturer and go, hey, how does this one out of 100 have this problem? And they go, oh, person number 42 on the line, their thingy was doing a thingy. We'll make sure that doesn't happen anymore. Like, oh, okay, good, great. Um, but if it, And then also it's useful to know like, oh, one out of a billion, like, oh, one out of 4,000 air pumps. Like, yeah, I don't know. Now we're chasing that one down. Still waiting on Dale, paging Dale, paging Dale, Dale Kennedy. To the front, Dale Kennedy to the front. Your car lights are on, Dale Kennedy. Uh, would love to see you stream SOD. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I threaten to do it because I do love gaming, but I also just know everyone's gonna be like, you're, you're gaming the way I don't like you to game. <laughs> so, uh, and to be fair, I don't want to turn another outlet into uh, like a work thing. Like right now, if I get tired of like answering fish questions and doing that stuff, like I just got to step away. Like, okay, go turn my mind off a little bit from with some video games. I don't need to like turn it on and be like, Oh, I gotta be on the camera. Gotta be, gotta be putting on a show. Wasn't that hilarious? I bubble heart. Uh, let's see. There's Dale. He's here. He's awesome. Congratulations, Dale. Email shipping at aquariumgoab.com. And we will verify you've won, and we will give you a gift card for $75 to Dan's Fish. 
Hashtag aquarium coop. <laughs> I'm having working in the grocery store flashbacks. That's right. There's a kid lost at the front wearing a blue jacket. Is this yours? The aquarium co-op nano pump ran my sponge filters off a 20,000 milliamp battery bank for 52 hours. By the way, I just want to make it clear, those nano pumps aren't technically branded aquarium co-op. We do sell them, but they are not. We're going we're gonna to discontinue them eventually. They they don't have the longevity that I want, and the manufacturer, we've struggled trying to make them type C and then not type C and this and that, and we're going to go more with our style. We're actually working on a new air pump as well, a third additional bigger, deeper one that is going to take a bigger battery, won't last as long, but some people have bigger tanks, and, you know, but I, I know instantly, when's that going to be ready? I don't know. When, we, when we're done building it, could be two years, could be tomorrow. Working on it, waiting, waiting for the first samples to show up. Yeah. Not wanting to hate, but being a pally, <laughs> you just don't want to be loved. That's right. I'm telling you right now, seasons of discovery, holy shock it and palate, and no one sees it coming. They expect the rep pallies. They don't expect the unkillable healing machine that can uh, turn on you and kill you. I'm all about the BBP. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's let's do another giveaway. <laughs> Dale says, first time winning anything ever in my life." I'm trying to think of. I, I must have won something, but yeah, I'm not a. I'm not a big. There's people. You ever know that person that, like, they seem to win something, like, every two and a half weeks? Where you're just like, again? How? How? And then you kind of like, okay, maybe I just gotta, I gotta play more. So then you're, like, entering all the same crap they do, and they still win, like, every two and a half weeks? I swear there's, like, something to that. What's the deal with discontinuing heaters? Go watch the live stream before this one. Talk way too much about it. It'll give you, it'll fill you all in on it. Mostly, I wanted to lose seventy-five thousand dollars, so I just stopped selling them. That was that's the TLDR is that I hate making money. Uh, let's see here. Except in the giveaway, no, I'm gonna do more subscribers first or members, memberlings. Memberlings so good. I'm, I'm gonna make that a thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm making it. Well, we're going for twenty this time. Oh wait, no, I'm going for fifty this time. Back it out. Back it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right here. We're doing it. Are you ready for this? Boom. Hey, there's Oliver Knott. Hanging out in the chat. It's late over there, buddy. Hope you're hope you're feeling good. Hope you're enjoying the middle of the night live stream. If you don't know, Oliver Knott hangs out in our uh, our Facebook group. We actually use some of our funds to pay Oliver to hang out and do that. So he's given aquascaping tips, checking out people's stuff, posting content, all that kind of stuff. Cause he's one of my heroes from growing up of like Oliver not to me, Oliver not at least. And there's, there's going to be a lot of people that are probably like, this guy is an idiot and by idiot. I mean me, but growing up when I was new into the hobby and I'm like, okay, I'm like 22, 23, whatever it was. And I'm just getting into aquariums. Oliver Knott and Takashi Amano were doing mind-blowing things. Like Takashi Tuka more so, right? Superstar. But then there was Oliver. And there was other people too. It just, Oliver's scapes and stuff always spoke to me because he did cool, weird stuff. And I like being the cool, weird guy. Well, not the cool guy, but I like doing the different stuff. And so uh, that always appealed to me of like, oh, he's breaking the rules. What a bad boy. And I like that. I like to challenge the rules and, uh, you know, see what I can, what I can do. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Oliver Nod is the bad boy of aquascaping. I mean, he is, he's, he's won so many awards. He's respected by so many people. He's done so many things, but if you're in the hobby in the last five years, you wouldn't know that you're just like, Oh, who you don't realize one of the original gangsters of aquascaping. 
And so getting to hang out with them, I get to hear all these crazy stories and see this stuff and go, oh man, tell me more about that. If I end up coming to Aquashella, check out your booth. You got it, JL Aquatics. If I show up, I will make sure I do. I promise. Oh, let's see. I've been gifted them on other channels, so I know I can. Yep, Daniel B. It's kind of at random. So, what will wild type shrimp that came from blues ever throw different colors? I would assume so, but I don't know. I don't know enough to know. I don't know what timeline, I guess. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Is I don't know how long it's going to take to get you what you want to get. Go on, get. All right. In honor of uh, Oliver Knott, we're going to do hashtag OK. Hashtag OK. Hashtag OK. Boom. That's going to get you a $50 gift card to Aquarium Co-op. Maybe buy some tissue culture plants or something. But hashtag OK. Yeah. In honor of Oliver Knott. You know, the, the sad story about Oliver Knott, he's basically been screwed over by every company, on, aquatic company on the planet. That's the unfortunate part. He was kind of... He, he in my opinion... One of the one of the pioneers of kind of influencer before that really existed. I mean, before social media influencer kind of existed as much. Uh, he was just known. He was in the magazines and the books and the forums and all that, and just uh, you know did a lot, but you know never quite never quite got it fully fully working. Ooh, that that's a good idea. I might have. I got an idea here. I'm gonna see if I can do it on the fly. We'll see. We'll see if my Hail Mary works. Waiting for it. Oh, let's see. Dang it. Oh, oh, I tried. I'm looking one last time. Hmm. I was going to try to try to give away a gift card to Aldi Beta. So that's uh, Oliver owns part of that website and they sell a lot of stuff all around uh, Europe. And they ship it, but I think it's I think it's uh, translating wrong. I typed in gift card, nothing comes up, and it says, "Do you mean gift card?" And I clicked on that, and then it showed me nothing again. Similar search terms is gift card to gift card, and then it doesn't come up. I tried. <coughs> What's the current hashtag for? It's for a fifty dollar aquarium co-op gift card. Stands for Oliver Knott. What are my thoughts on natural aquariums? I think they're the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. No, I'm just kidding. I just I just know the the cult like following that natural aquariums have. Like they literally were sharpening the pitchforks instantly. No, I think they're they're cool. I think if you were to watch all thousand videos, which no one does, but you'll know that I personally owned a signed copy of uh, Dr. Wallstad's book. Uh, I have made natural aquariums. I think they're dope. I love nature. However, I don't like how dirty they run. And so whenever someone asks my opinion, which doesn't happen often, because I know I'm a hater, and they go, how would you do one, Corey? And I say, well, the first thing, I wouldn't take conventional wisdom. And I would say, I run like one-eighth of an inch of soil. That is the tiniest amount. And then I cover it with gravel. And it's like, that's not what the thing says to do. You run one inch of soil, then you run two inches of sand, and that's what you do. And from a guy that likes to be the contrarian and, and try my own crap, what did I learn? What did Corey learn when he was new to the hobby, like so many people are, and like, I need to try all the things. This thing's the rage, right? You're on the forums. There's forums dedicated to natural aquariums. I got to see what that's all about. I got to do that, right? What do I find? I find if you use one inch of organic soil and then you put an inch and a half to two inches of sand on it, you just get gases building up that will 
explode. And then you get soil on top of the sand. It looks terrible, right? You also, when you plant a plant and you're new to the hobby and you go, ooh, this crypt's going to look amazing right here. And then you go, wait a second, you grew three times bigger than I knew. You need to live over here. So then you pull it up and you go, wait a second. Cryptocorn roots grow like 10 feet long and like the whole aquarium just exploded when I tried to remove that plant. Well, that sucks. So I then said, Corey, use your tiny brain. How could we beat this? How could we not have this suck? And I said, less, less soil would help. And then if I use gravel, the gas could escape from it. So I use gravel. What does that do? When I use a very thin layer of soil, now the roots can get in there and they soak it up and they go, mmm, I'm growing so good, right? The gases can escape. And then when I do rip up that plant because I put it in the wrong spot or I'm just like bored on a Saturday and it needs to move, yes, some of that soil comes up. And then with the gravel, it can go back down through. It doesn't just sit on top of the sand. So that's why I like that system. Now, I still prefer just using gravel with a buttload of fish poop. It takes time, right? But it's a very fine layer, that mulm, that's what I like. A bunch of fish poop, some root tabs, some liquid fertilizers. That's what I prefer. Now, everyone do exactly what you want to do. Just because I like my cheeseburger to have some bacon and some avocado on it, doesn't mean you can't have your burger with jalapeno and an egg on it. Do it. You do you. If you just want a plain cheeseburger, do that. You're allergic or you can't even have cheese. Great, have a hamburger. Whatever, really, honest, I, and I couldn't be more honest. As long as you want to hang out with your aquarium, I don't care what you do. I honestly don't. Because if you go to your aquarium and you're trying your hardest and you're trying to do a good job, even if you have an Oscar in a one-gallon tank, you're trying. You're going to get better. You're going to learn. You're going to enjoy it. And who am I to say that you're wrong? Nature will eventually show you whether you're right or wrong. Someone's going to say, ah, Murphy would have lived. He had a 50,000-gallon aquarium. Maybe. Maybe he would have done worse. I've tried putting Mubu puffers when they're babies into giant tanks and they don't thrive. I'm on a mission to learn. Maybe by the time I've kept 10 Mubu puffers, I will know the secret. And then I can tell everybody what I found and uh, they will say, oh, you're so smart, or oh, you don't know anything, right? We all are learning from each other. We, none of us really know how to keep fish in a glass box from halfway around the world. We know how to kind of keep it from dying, but keeping something one step from dying versus ultimate life, we live our whole lives tr trying to achieve that. So natural aquariums, dope. Do I do it? Not really. Would I ever do it in the future? Yeah, maybe. Do I think you should do it? Totally, if you want to. Do it. If that's what your passion is, do it. Uh, let's see. Where did that go? Is that here? Yeah. Let's roll the, the Oliver Knot. Have you all got the taco truck to give you an aquarium club discount yet? No. No. Not yet. In fact, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. I go there on Tuesdays a lot of times, and I don't get my tacos. The winner of the $50 Aquarium Co-op gift card is Forrest. If your name is Forrest, come to the front, please. Come to the front, Forrest. My plan to get more Mubu Puffers? No, not right now. In fact, I'm a little bit happy to be able to move Ladybird to the store. Uh, with Elmer and Ladybird going to the store, I only have one fish left that has to eat a specialized diet, and that is my lips for eel. So potentially my lips reveal, if I could put that in a different thing, it makes people watching my fish while I'm out of town way easier. Um, not that it's that difficult, but those specialized animals, they do take more care and uh, I just think it's easier. So I'm not sad. Also, I feel a little guilty sometimes when I've got this really cool animal living in my 800 gallon when everybody could be like Ladybird was born to perform and entertain people. She's a character. And so uh, I think people are going to fall in love with her, just like we did.
And we're, you know, my wife and I are always sad, like when Elmer went and when Lady Bird goes, we'll be sad, but we know how many people are going to get to enjoy it, and that makes us happy. So, you know, don't, we want to share. Wait, did Murphy die? Yeah, he did. Sad times. Thoughts on Joya Wood for shrimps. Will it be back on the site for sale? Uh, no, not for us. We sold so much, it was a hard time to keep it in stock. And then invariably or inevitably, we would have people with bettas buy it. And then their bettas would get stuck in there and they'd lose their minds. And the better, even if it lived or didn't live, whatever, like they just lose their minds. Why would you sell such a crazy product? And it's like, well, you got to have a little bit of, you know, like if you have a dog that swallows tennis balls, don't buy it tennis balls, right? Like there's a little bit of that goes on with life where, hmm, that could be a problem, you know? And just because it goes in a fish tank doesn't mean every fish, like if you have a giant Oscar, it could choke on that choy it would because it can fit in its mouth. Like it doesn't mean it's probably going to, but it could. Came back to the hobby after 30 years away from it. The info out there is overwhelming. I learned so much from this channel. There is unlimited info, and it is overwhelming, and not all of it's true, and even everything I say is a load of crap. What I mean by that is there's so many differing opinions. Think of aquatics as, like, baking cookies. Every family's got a secret recipe. No, you, you got to make sure the butter is soft first. No, you got to use this type of butter. No, you got to. Here's the trick. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now here's the trick. Like dark chocolate. Now here's the trick. The reality is everybody's making cookies. Everybody's liking them. It's fine. You know. And my my thing was, if you watch someone doing something, you're like, hey, that's what I want to do. It's probably going to be fine. Right? That There's still a lot of learning. I would always say the most important thing is, yes, you can research, but do your own testing and and you know, what, what's working well in your water? Do more of that. When you make those cookies, what tastes really good to you? Great. Make those cookies. Don't go, well, this one won, a re you know, won, won the cookie awards of 2023. If you don't like them, don't make them. Make the cookies you like. Uh, let's see. Eat the dough. That's right. I don't, I don't really like dough, but, uh, you know, yeah, some people don't even turn them into baked cookies. They just eat the dough. I mean, they're crazy mad men and mad women, but you know, I like a soft cookie, crunchy cookies. Oh, in fact, it's time for a poll. I want to see how many I got to ban. How many people do I got to ban? This is good content where I don't talk. Here we go. There's the poll. We're starting it. Getting that engagement going. All right. We're doing hashtag cookies. Let me, let me set that up. We got, we, got, we got real business to be done here. Uh, keyword hashtag cookies. And you're going to win a $50 Dan's Fish gift card. If you're in Canada or you're in America, you can order from Dan's Fish and he will ship them to you. 50 bucks mostly covers shipping in a little bit, but hey, that'll get, to, that'll get the ball rolling. Thank goodness not everyone's insane. Chewy cookies, infinitely better in every way. I'm, I'm a little worried that... 17% of people like crunchy cookies. I just... It's so much so that when I when I feel a cookie and it's crunchy, I don't eat it. And that's how much I don't like them. It's been a while since I made it to a live stream. But congratulations, Corey, on the milestone. I have... Wait, have helped my fish hobby over the years so much. Well, thank you, Kirk. You've helped my business so much over the years. 34 months. That's no joke. Should I start banning? <laughs> yeah. We're, we're taking names. 
Crunchy cookies are going on the naughty list for Santa for sure. Crunchy cookies for milk dipping. Ain't nobody got time for milk dipping. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love cookie dipped in milk, but I, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's the number one sign you're overworking. People think it's stress and like other stuff, but it's actually number one clinical sign that you're working too much. You don't have time to dip cookies in milk. That's the number one sign. I didn't know that till just now, but now I know. I was like, I work a lot. And then I realized I just don't have time to dip cookies in milk. I need to work on that. Do Oreos count as a crunchy cookie? Yes. Here, here's how you know. Here's how you know you've uh, you've got you got some shame that you don't tell normal people. If you have Oreo cookies sit there long enough, or maybe you forget to close the package, they get softer. They get real stale. I actually think they're kind of better that way. I don't go out of my way to make them stale, but I still eat them. I'm going, hey, all right, kind of. Kind of weird, but kind of good. I just made Valentine's sugar cookies. I love a good sugar cookie, as long as it's not crunchy. I like them both. You're just lying to yourself, Leaf Jelly. Nobody likes crunchy and soft equally. There is a winner. There can only be one. I buy cookie dough to bake, then I never make it in the oven. I may have a problem. Yeah, luckily I, I married a baker, and so they get baked for me. I'm lucky. Stale Oreos are gross? Kind of are, yeah. I'll tell you what, Oreos are really good. Oreos in different countries. Somehow, like whether you're in China or Peru, you could be eating, you're eating discus off the side of a boat, and someone pulls out some Oreos they picked up at like the store in Peru, and you're magically transformed, like, back to your couch with that, like, it's, I don't know, somehow it, like, embodies America, like, oh, Oreo, ooh, Oreos, okay. <laughs> if it doesn't chip a tooth, I don't want it. Ugh. Crunchy cookies, so bad. All right, let's pick a winner on the, uh, the hashtag cookies. Here we go. Michael. Your name is Michael. You have to let us know you're alive and whether you like chewy or crunchy cookies. That's that's a stipulation here. Corey and co-op team, congrats, you millionaires. Best thing is when your kid is starting the hobby. Ashley and Brent are here and learning. Well, you're in for a whirlwind, Ashley and Brent. You never know what Mother Nature's going to throw at you. And uh, if you nerd out with your family on fish, someday, down the road, someone will think you're cool. It won't be your friends. It won't be your peers. But someone will think you're cool that you know about fish, too. Maybe it'll be a coworker and they're your new best friend. But uh, it's, a, it's a skill that, when you can use it, very handy. But so seldomly can you use it. Is it me that won? No, it's it's only uh, just named Michael. And they have responded. They said, I am Michael and Chewy. Well, there you go, Michael. Uh, they just have an M for a symbol. It's kind of pink. And uh, they won a $50 aquarium co-op. Was it aquarium co-op? I don't know. Candy's probably got it. I think it was aquarium co-op. Yeah, it was, it was for Oliver Knott. So it was aquarium co-op. Phew. Chewy peanut butter cookies are the best. They're pretty good, I got to admit. I do like me a peanut butter. Well, in fact, I requested my mom to make some peanut butter cookies. And I want, specifically, I was like, make sure you use the fork to make the crisscross pattern. Without that crisscross pattern, it tastes different somehow. Oh, we're back to 16% on crunchy cookies. I'm just collecting people to ban. It actually won't let me see who did it, so don't worry. Hmm. We'll, we'll choose the winner. We, we, knew who the, we knew the winner. We knew the winner before. We even ran the poll, didn't we? I think we did. Wait, I thought it was for Dan. Yeah. Oh, no. It, this one, oh, wait, this one was cookies. You're right. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We're two hours into this almost. You're right. This one, I've given away so many things. This one was for Dan's fish because 
it was hashtag cookies. Hashtag okay was the one before. I can't keep it straight anymore. I forgot. I did forget about Forrest. You're right. You got the Aquarium Co-op gift card, I believe. This is why this is why I have people around me. So uh, once I start losing it, they can keep it together. Like that's it's really everybody around me is just a support system. They're just like they're, like whenever I'm at a meeting, it's only people doing this. Like, is now the time? Has he totally lost it? No, nah, give him five more minutes. I think he's losing it. No, nah, give him five more minutes. That's basically every meeting and people around me going, you know, there, there's there's like a never ending cane, like kind of around my neck to like pull me off the stage. Like, shut him up. So what are my thoughts on the band app? I'm pretty much my grandma. I know nothing about the band app. So I got, I got nothing. Uh, let's see here. Samoas, more like samosas. Yum. Cookies for rookies. All right. Uh, have I given away all the Dan's fish gift cards? I bought four of them. Have I given away four of them yet? Candy will know. Or did I only give away three? Is it three or four? Uh, let's see here. Who's got a question? Guilty pleasure is white macadamia nut cookie at the worst sub shop ever. Uh-oh. What if they made footlong macadamia nut cookies? Any nano-sized fish that munch on duckweed? Hmm. I, hmm. I don't think I can think of one. Am I wearing sweats and flip-flops in meetings yet? Oh, yes. Definitely most often I do. I even, I've down-leveled a notch. Like, I got so confident wearing flip-flops or, or sweatpants that I'll wear, I'll rock Crocs to a meeting. Yeah. Now, that being said, like, in a different country, usually I'm wearing normal shoes because I can do so much walking that I don't, I don't want to walk uh, miles and miles and miles in flip-flops. Although I did, I did take Crocs. I took those Crocs to Germany. They're, I now have international Crocs. That's right. That's right. Will the Aquarium Co-op brand make its way to Australia? I think so. I just don't know when. Rest of the world is it's. I think so. It's quite a, it's quite a, a feat to take a brand out of America all the way to worldwide, and we're working on it. And I feel like we're, we're doing the th right things. Whether all the steps will align to make it happen, time will tell. Like we're still a when you compare us to like Tetra and Eheim and Hikari and, and and a lot of these companies, we are an infant in comparison. So I, I think we're on the right track to probably, if I don't screw this thing up too bad, probably be able to do it. But uh, you know, it's one step at a time is all we can do, and so I don't know when yet. It becomes a lot clearer when you're doing it. You're like, oh, yeah, at about this size, you can do this move. But until you get to that size and you do it, you don't really know, like, oh, is that when we're selling twice as much? We have twice as many employees? Is it just when I have the time? I don't know. It's been ages since I caught a live stream. Congratulations. And thanks for everything you do for the hobby. Well, thank you. How long should I keep Fritz Copper Safe in my goldfish tank? I've had it for a week now. Should I do a water change? I don't know. I never had great luck with copper safe products. In my experience, they never treated anything. Yeah. So that's if I if I use it to try and treat something and then I don't see there's treating ick or anything after a few weeks, I just stop using products. Like after like people used to swear by copper safe and I tried them like I can never actually get to secure anything. And I have lots of attempts at it because we get lots of sick fish coming in to the store all the time. And I can do A-B tests and all of that. And when it, I just, maybe someone else knows how to make the magic work. But I see a lot of people use a preventative. But in that instance, <clears throat> you can't know it did anything because you never, you never know if it was going to do something to begin with. So I need to have like, for instance, what we'll do is like, oh, we have a tank with ick or velvet. We'll split the tank up 50-50. We'll treat with a med that we know works. And we'll treat with like a copper safe. And we'll see like which one worked, which one didn't work, which one worked faster maybe. What do we see the difference? Was there a different mortality rate? Was there 
you know, what can we learn from this? And with that product in particular, I, I can just never treat anything. So same with uh, the Fritz Fix Ick. And that's why we don't sell it. I can never get it to do anything. They sent us gallons and gallons and gallons of for testing. And me and my team could never get it to treat Ick. Maybe maybe it happens on day 26, but we don't we didn't try that long. We just kept going like, all right, let's save the animals. Use your X. <clears throat> I recently started watching your videos back in December when I started my planet tank. And I love all your videos. And I learned a lot. Well, thank you, Asian Dragoon. Oh, wait, Dragoon 221. Thanks. Is it worth it to buy a used tank if it's been stored dry for over a year? If so, is it mandatory to reseal it? I think it depends how it was stored, how long, how old of a tank it is. In my opinion, on average... Usually it's okay if you're getting a wicked good deal. Like, but if it's like a 40 breeder, just wait for a dollar gallon sale and buy it new. That being said, if it's like, oh, it's a 125 and it's two years old and it sat in the garage for a year, like, and it's only 150 bucks. Yes, I would buy that. It's all kind of calculating. Ah, what are my odds? Ah. All right, let's give away the last uh, Dan's Fish gift card, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hashtag. What's the hashtag going to be? Hmm. Hashtag. Hmm. Hashtag Dean. Hashtag Dean is the one. I use hashtag Dean to win a fifty dollars gift card to Dan's Fish. I looked up to. Or I look up to you in every way. I'm going to open my own fish store when I'm older. Apparently, it's illegal to drop out of high school and build up a fish store yeah well if you ever get that going send an email and i'll remember this day and i'll go wow they actually did it because we hear it a million times over uh i always recommend the same thing go work at a fish store go become a manager at someone's fish store go run that fish store and then decide if you want your life to be an aquatic farmer basically like i have all the respect in the world for people that take care of livestock it's such a demanding, like, ah, oh, the thing is sick, the thing is angry, the thing doesn't want to eat, the thing, the thing, the thing. And uh, whether it's cows, geese, shrimp, fish, like, it, livestock is work. So, you know, really make sure you want to do that. And, uh, yeah, so do it for somebody else while they pay you to learn that lesson. And then if you do, welcome to the team of people who take care of animals for a living and uh, want to try to make the world a better place. I knew you were going to use a Dean hashtag. I knew it. Did you set up a, like a hotkey? You were on it. Boom. Got him. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I saw a hydro pin at a feed at a local fish store. I didn't scoop it. Would love to buy it from the co-op. Hashtag regrets. I think we might be able to sell some as a tissue culture down the road. Um, we're just we're just playing slow and steady. We got we got a lot of irons in the fire right now. It'd be real easy for me to screw this all up. So slow and calculated steps is what we're doing. It, it's we're basically in a river. All the rocks are covered in algae. It's slimy. One 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 slip up and you break your leg and crack your head open is what we're doing right now. So. You know, definitely free up the hands, take it real slow through the river. Got to get to where we're going, that's all. I had a weird, from what it looked like, parasite on one of the goldfish, and all the aquarium shops I asked to identify it had no idea. It was pill-shaped, and on the head mainly. I tried multiple different meds. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my recommendation would be post it like, on our forum or uh, Facebook group and... You get to crowdsource. So in the Facebook, there's 50,000 people. You're more likely someone's like, hey, I remember that. My great-grandpa had that on his goldfish. I remember. And he did this. Or we can go, hey, I had the same thing. Tried this, 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 and this, and it didn't work. Um, or you can at least educate us. Hey, I've tried all these crazy things. It's not working. But And then maybe we come back and we go, oh, yeah, how about you try this? You know, I would try this now, basically. Uh oh, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a message from Oliver Knott. 
Let's hope he's not pissed. He wouldn't be pissed. He's a, he's a very gentle dude. I mean, he's such a such a awesome dude. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> he's going back to bed. He's, he set his alarm to wake up and hang out in the chat real quick. So, I really have been enjoying building some friendships over in Europe and getting getting worldwide support. You know, just meeting with other people, trying to trying to actually do right things, and and not that other people aren't trying to do right things. It's just it's <clears throat> even with all the best intentions, you need money, you need people that want to work with you, you need a vision, you need to dodge the landmines, you need like it's just it's just hard to make things happen. So. I'm incredibly lucky to have all the people that believe in me. Yes, do does Aquarium Co-op pay their paycheck? Yes. But most businesses are more than that. Otherwise, we'd never change where we work, right? So you got to believe where they're going. A lot of people on the Aquarium Co-op team left very, uh, you know, very good situations they were in. Some people moved. Candy moved here, right? Uh, you know, other people moved here. And so... And convincing your 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 spouses or your family, like, I'm going to work for this fish store instead of this career I have. And, you know, getting out of the comfort zone and putting the faith into Aquarium Co-op and our fans and all of that. You know, so we, we have to, you know, how do we keep people happy? How do we keep them spending? How do we keep growing? How do we get to the next thing? How do we try to predict? I think people are going to want this. Is it too soon in the market? All of that. And we make mistakes for sure. Like, oh, I, I got that one wrong. That That's not great. Um, but we seem to, you know, maybe we get six out of 10, right. Uh, and that's enough to slowly keep pushing forward. So, all right, let's, let's, let's roll the, the Dean hashtag, the Dean, Tristan Sheldon, Tristan Sheldon, $50 gift card to Dan's fish. As long as you live in America or Canada. What is my favorite whiptail catfish? The red lizards, the little the little guys. Uh, let's see. Why is YouTube forcing ads during the live stream? Because it's a button I clicked, Craig. My biggest, well, one of my biggest gripes with YouTube that I bring up every meeting. I really wish that people that were sub, that were members of my channel never got served an ad. Um, I realize you can buy premium. And I do recommend that because I'm a consumer of YouTube and I do pay for it and I do think it's worth it. And you can get a family membership and split the cost. But I do think for anyone that you pay money to subscribe to their channel, you shouldn't have to see the ads. I don't need, a creator doesn't need you to pay money and to get you to watch ads to make money. And there's no setting that lets me, because I would 100% click it. There is no setting that lets me have that option. I have asked for that option, uh, but we have not gotten it yet. And so I hope we do because I, I also, we did, you know, we kind of got one where we should be able to give away a membership, but because we're a brand account, we can't. So that, you know, there's all kinds of stuff I want. I want to be able to pay for memberships for all my, my like employees that watch, but there's no way to do it. I can't target who we give a membership to, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I, I totally agree with you that, yep, there's ads in there. We put them in there because it makes sense to. We get a little bit better placement if we do uh, from what I can see. And, uh, yeah, I, I try not to put too many ads in there. I, I, I chose the option that was the least. I think it's one ad every 18 minutes. That's a, the most stretched out I can make it. And then I think what we do is we do one every 30 minutes once it's a video. So, in my in my opinion... It, you know, and it does make a difference. Like the difference is if I don't put ads, we just make like nothing. And if I put ads, a live stream might make us $800. And that $800 with an ad per 30 minutes is giveaways, is uh, charity stuff, is product development, is fish in, the, in my fish room, is someone's paycheck, is that. And so I, I do think it's, and I, I stand up for myself and other creators, I do think that uh, it takes work and there should be some way to monetize. And I just try not to be too predatory. I think I don't agree with creators that are like, just stuff as many ads as you can. I think that is bad for the user experience and not right. But I also think eh, an ad every 18 to 30 minutes, like that's kind of okay. Um, 
but I totally get it. If if you don't like it, find another creator that does no ads. That's fine too. Uh, I just you know, I try to try to make my way through it. Uh, let's see here. How are the saffron orange mollies from Dan's Fish doing? They're doing good for me. They're in with the cyprochromus. I'm waiting for them to make some babies. How's my grandma doing? She's aging, you know. Uh, she, I think this birthday is either 91 or 92. And her memory's going a bit more. But, uh, you know, her health in other ways is starting to fail a bit. Your body starts breaking down when you get that old. And so we just, you know, her birthday's coming up, and we're I think we're doing a, a baked potato bar is what we're going to do. And it's what she requested, and so, yep, we're going to do that. And we just try to keep having good uh, good days, I would say. Each, each thing in the back of my mind, I wonder, is this the last Christmas? Is this the last, uh, you know, birthday? And mostly, like, there was, so if I'm truth being told, right, if I'm being honest, we had the option of making the Albuquerque meetup the weekend of my grandma's birthday. And I said, no, I'm going to my grandma's birthday. It cannot be that weekend. And we moved it. Uh, so I'm prioritizing family and fitting in other stuff around it. And I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to go, well, I went and did the store opening, expansion opening, and it was my grandma's last birthday. And she passed away eight months later. I never forgave myself. So I'm just putting the stuff in front of that and uh, just fitting it in going, okay, let's put, it, put stuff around the stuff. And I think that's about as fair as I can be to myself and the viewers and the business and, and all the stuff that relies on me, including my grandma and my family. So, um, sad that I'm not selling the Aquarium Co-op heaters anymore. Is there any plan to resume heater sales? Uh, no, not at the moment. And that's just being transparent. The amount of the work to reward ratio is very high. Lots of work. Reward would be great. Need to go back to the drawing board and get the defect rate down and uh, figure out the social media part. You know, that it's just a new problem we had we never had before. If you sell thousands of products and one out of a hundred has a problem and you're selling hundreds every day. Well, that's several problems every day. And on social media, every day, that makes you look bad. And it just, like, it's kind of funny, uh, at least I th find it funny, that every day, in the you know, on social media, be like, hey, my heater's having a problem. Like, okay, well, we'll take care of you, blah, 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 right? And other people are like, oh, looks like those heaters suck. And then, once we stop selling them, now the narrative has changed a lot. Not completely, but a lot. To like, oh, I want to buy more. Why did you get rid of them? And it's like, well, because everyone was crapping on them, essentially. And the people that liked them were staying silent. And we can't just, like, get murdered reputation-wise. And so it made, a, made more sense to go, let's just not sell them. Just, just don't do it. And now we're just out of that game. And uh, now I can sleep at night. Uh, let's see here. Wishing your grandma a happy birthday. The memory goes as we get older, as the more of life lived, we have to remember. That's well said. Congratulations on the one million. Is there a heater you'd recommend with a display and inline adjuster with a long cord since I can't get yours anymore? I don't have any official recommendations. If if The problem was if we had a good recommendation, we would have just been selling the heaters. I never wanted to get into the heater game. But... We continually had supply issues and problems with other people's heaters. It's the same reason, like, if we ever get into the meds game, I never want to get into meds. But if I do, it'll be supply chain issue problems. Because I'd rather supply meds and get blamed. So, like, right now, someone buys, like, the med trio, right? Which we, you can get a discount on the website, by the way. We sell the trio again. And you have a problem. At least some were like, hey, Hikari or... Fritz did a wrong thing where once it's branded according co-op, Hey, according co-op did the wrong thing. And the reality is meds aren't a hundred percent. People act like it. Right. But even when you use a med, it's not a hundred percent guarantee. It's going to cure what ails you. There's also how many random, uh, allergies are there. So like, Oh yeah, penicillin should have cured your dog, but it killed it. Right. Same for humans, same for fish, same for squirrels, same for badgers, same for raccoons. Like, there's just X amount. 
And when you get things going at crazy scale, it's a harder thing to uh, take care of. Hyger makes a similar heater. Uh, I, I outlined that similar heaters on our forum. And I, I told people just because something is similar doesn't mean it's the same because people are like, oh, I'm just going to buy this brand. And I go, well, you can see here it's using older versions of software. We updated ours. It won't have as long of a cord. We changed parts. We did this. And, you know, I also use the example of a car made in Mexico and in Detroit and in California and in China, even if it's all the same thing, have different wear patterns, different defects, different things. And so I'm not telling you to not buy a Hiker heater. I'm just telling you, don't assume it's just like ours. Because uh, most times from, you know, and I, I can't, I shouldn't say I can't. I Maybe I could. It's not in my best interest to call out what I know maybe is or isn't implemented on another heater uh, because it might be making it made the same factory or a different factory, maybe in our testing. All I'm saying is now going forward with heaters, without testing them, I, I can't trust anyone's word because we tested... We literally have never had one fail in our care between mine, Dean, uh, Randy, uh, the store, like heater. But at scale, when we started selling thousands and thousands and thousands at production, that's where, you know, we started seeing like, okay, yeah, one out of X has this. And we kept making changes, kept making them better. And oftentimes what we see, we launch products, other companies launch products. They never update theirs. We continually update ours, make ours better. And you can be like, yeah, it's the same thing. And it's like, it's not the same thing because they didn't make the changes, but we do. So, and one of the big things that people don't realize when you're making, manufacturing a product, literally one of the options is used recycled electronics. Like when you go and recycle all those electronics, they got to go somewhere. Guess where they go? They go to China. They take them apart. They put all the parts there and you can literally make electronics with used electronics. Brings down the price a lot, but brings down the reliability and especially something like a heater really need that to be reliable so uh now that being said all of those other heaters that look like ours they could be completely good or 10 times better than ours there's no way i could have tested them and there's no way i can know every single one of them and maybe someone figured it out but i also don't want to lead you astray and be like yeah this guy said do a thing so you just do the thing uh, so my advice is use at least 10 of a heater, use them for at least two years, document failure rates, get together with other hobbyists, document it and make, a, uh, an informed opinion because as store owners, we've gone through lots of them. And when people say like, oh yeah, Eheim, we all go, oh, like that didn't work out so well to us. Oh, this one. And we go, oh, that one didn't work out so well to us because we sell massive amounts. It's really easy to be like, oh, you've bought two of this type of car in your life and it's always done well and so you always recommend it. So another thing, when you're the dealer of it and you're like, okay, we sell thousands of these, we know what goes wrong with them. And so, uh, you know, just take it with a grain of salt and know that heaters, you're mixing heat, water, and electricity. That's just a hard nut to crack for any company. And so I would expect heaters to fail. I would just... My, my big thing that I would say is go with a company that you know you can get a warranty slash refund easily, you know, and aren't playing games. So like CJ, if you're going to put a five-year warranty on it, just put a five-year warranty. Don't make it where it's three years uh, and then they have to register online and if they don't, you know, give the info away, that kind of stuff. I just, I think that's not genuine. If you're going to say five years, give five years. Don't be three years plus hoops. Same thing, a lot of these no-name heaters, you basically got 30 days on uh, on Amazon. I hear Hyger's got a good support team. I've never used it, so I don't know. Um, but that is a trick you can use. If you ever want to know, if you're thinking about buying something, email them with a problem to begin with and see how long does it take for them to get back and what are they willing to do. Like, oh, yeah, my heater's broken. Before you ever buy that heater, just email them and go, hey, my heater's broken. They should come back and go with something, and you'll know a lot more like, oh, you know, they're, they're going to try to fight me on this or, oh, they're making it really easy. That should make you feel good and want to buy from them. Any plans to sell my new fish tanks online? No. Selling tanks online 
shipping glass around, I'd have to like have my own fulfillment network. I'd have to own my own delivery vans, and I don't see that happening. Real hard to get glass from one place to another. All right. Let's end the live stream. If you, if you stayed this whole time, let's end it with a bang. All right? With a bang. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. We're going we're gonna to set this one up. Do, do, do. Oh, no. Yep. Right here. All right. This one we saved we saved the best for last on this one. All right. Hashtag candy with an I. Candy with an I. Hashtag candy. Uh oh, it's auto defaulting to candy overhauls, but oh, it won't even let me. That might be a terrible thing. It might not, I don't know if anybody can get it to go through. Wait, will that do it? All right. Takes a little bit of work, but hashtag candy. You can make that work. Uh, this one is for a $500 aquarium co-op gift card. So if you stayed all the way to the end, the after hours, the, the post game show, $500 aquarium co-op gift card in the United States. We're going to pick a winner. You can probably get yourself a light. You can probably get yourself some plants. You can get yourself an air pump. You can get yourself some food. You can get yourself all these things. Maybe it'll fund your hobby all year. Who knows? Hashtag candy for a $500 gift card. Yeah. Save it to the end. I think I can, I think it'll let me buy a few more memberships. So we'll do that while we're waiting. Let's see here, because it maxed out. Let's spend $500, if you didn't know that. Let's try, I think it's, I could buy 10 more. 10 more memberships coming at you. There we go, 10 more memberlings. I'm letting everybody get in on this. Like, who doesn't want a $500 gift card? You could you could nurse it throughout the whole year, just buying what you normally buy. You could splurge, get all new lights for your aquariums. You could you could buy, ooh, start that fish room. Maybe you're gonna get that linear air piston pump. Maybe you're gonna set up a tank for your grandma. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it's a Valentine's Day gift, right? Who knows? Everybody wants in on that one. We'll see who the lucky. The lucky winner will be. Oh, 10 more gifts. Memberlings from the Aquarius podcast. That's Randy, if you didn't know. The VP of Aquarium Co-op. Donating his own money. Kind gentleman. He probably stopped watching the Super Bowl and chimed in. Or, <laughs> or this, is, this is like what I was talking earlier. They're literally talking. Gotta get him on the air. He's starting to give away the $500 gift cards. Pull him. Time to end it. Maybe we can get Katie to reset the router. Knock him out. <laughs> Katie says you got to buy plants, plants, and more plants. <laughs> Aquatic Move says 200 stickers. That's a wise investment right there. Just cover like an entire thing with it. Randy hit me with the inside jokes. Makes me laugh. I need an air pump for the fish room so bad. I'm running six whispers into a PVC uh, loop. Yeah, you do need an air pump pretty bad. That is true. Hashtag candy. If you haven't got yours in yet, you still got a little bit of time. We're letting them roll in, making sure everybody's got a chance. Everybody gets a chance. Why haven't stickers been coming in the last few orders? I don't know why. They should be. Uh, technically, they're supposed to go in every order, but they're not scanned. So the person's just supposed to take one and put it in. Maybe there's a chance that uh, you've gotten skipped on accident a couple of times. Or the more likely scenario... 
check all the nooks and crannies of the box and the packing paper, that kind of stuff, because they'll slide in there and people accidentally recycle them and stuff without knowing it. But every every package basically should get a sticker. We have we basically have a 99% fill rate on those stickers, even though it's just a manual thing. So if you got skipped multiple times, that's unlikely. Does $500 gift card cover tacos? Not yet. We're not in the taco business yet. Wait for that big announcement, huh? What what if I was like Mr. Beast and uh instead of doing like a, a burger joint, I'm doing a taco joint. That'd be awesome. I'm using my linear air pump to pump 20 longs and a two and a half after I moved and downgraded my fish room. Wait, it's literally just powering those two? That's awesome. You have like, I think the air pump is as big as the two and a half. All right, we're, we're getting towards towards the end. A couple more hashtag candies trickling in. Anyone who paused to refill their, their uh, dip and chips at the, the Super Bowl party like get it in there. It's a little it's a little bit tricky one. It wants to default to to tagging candy overhauls, but we're just you got to back it out, get just the hashtag candy in there. Uh how do I get the owner of the fish I work at to come into the 21st century and get out of his old stuck ways that aren't working anymore? You probably can't. I couldn't. I ended up opening my own store eventually. Um uh, sometimes people are receptive to it. Other times they're not. This is also the same reason we don't go door to door trying to sign stores up, because when you run to that person that doesn't want, they're, they're just they're just burnt out most times. They're like, I just I come to work, I get my eleven dollars, and I go home angry. And uh, you know it's not worth fighting that battle. We found, and so we let people come to us. And then same thing. I after five years of running a store, I ended up going and opening my own. So like you got to think about it a little bit. The person I work for could have had everything I basically built for Aquarium Co-op. I was trying to do that for him. And and every turn, he'd reel me back, go, nope, nope, we're not doing that. Nope, nope. And so it wouldn't let me reinvest money I made back into the business for him. It was only every time if I made an extra $5,000 that month in profit, it bought him laptops, phones, and ATVs. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was hamstrung. And after demoralizes me as an employee, a manager, and I go, why do I make all this extra money if I literally only let me buy 50 Neon Tetris and we could sell 200 a week? There's always 10 customers going, I want to buy 12 Neon Tetris. I'm sorry, we sold out two days after they got in. And so, uh, you know, do the best you can, learn as much as you can about that business while you're there, try to run that thing, and then maybe someday you go to open your own. Or maybe you go work for another store that says, hey, I am in the 21st century. I do want to do these things and go help them. Go help them be better. Any issues I know of running a three-quarter PVC loop for air piston pump? No, I just always run one inch because I, I feel like it's the same price, basically. It's hard to believe I've been a member for 15 months. It's the best 15 months I spend. Good. It's hard for me to believe that YouTube videos, just think about this. Where were you 11 years ago in your life? I'm doing the same thing. I'm making videos still. Like, that's crazy because I'm only 40 years old. So, like, over a fourth of my life, I've been making YouTube videos. Uh, and then the store itself, we're, like, on year 14, I think, technically, at this point. So, that's, you know, it's it's going to be weird when all of a sudden it's like, oh, half my life I've been doing this. What? All right. Do I still have Vienna guppies? I do indeed. I do. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll it. We're gonna see who won. Hopefully, anticipation's there and people are actually going like, "Let me be. Let this be the time I win. Come on." There's only, there's only. So even though we have one thousand two hundred and twenty-seven people in the live chat right now, there is only. 651 eligible users. That means uh, that you are a regular, you're a channel member, you're a user, any of those people. And you did the hashtag candy. Right? So, you're all, I mean, in terms of giveaways, like, you know, online giveaways, half the time it's like, oh, you could win an iPad and it's like one out of 42 billion people. 
the odds are actually pretty good in comparison. Like one out of 654 now uh, is actually pretty good comparatively. So you're telling me there's a chance. That's right. Someone got the reference. 658. The longer... Every every second I wait, the worse your odds are getting. Unless you just entered, in which case they got it way better because you had a zero chance, and now you have a 1 in 660 chance. Dale Kennedy, send his email. Yes, if you won something, you send an email to shipping at aquariumcoop.com, and you'll be going through a verification process. That might take uh more than just tonight like people have lives right so maybe tomorrow we get on to it and we work through them all and uh you know please be patient you know they're kind of explaining how to do it and and all of that and, and we'll make it right plus we just want to make sure that there's no bad actors and we want to make sure that you know you're not the other michael and some other michael stole your money and now we got a michael scandal you know just roll it darius can't take it Oh, we're at 671. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should do a thing where, oh, maybe I'll do a live stream where I do like a $1,000 gift card or some some big thing, but I'll only roll it once we get to 10,000 people that have entered. Take like two or three days. I'll just be there just like, come on, people. Enter. Hashtag hurry up. All right. It's button time. It's hard to argue with that. Sean Sean Morton, I think you're right. It's button time. Here we go. The button's been clicked. <sighs> James Frillman has won a $500 gift card to Aquarium Co-op. Congrats, buddy. Hopefully it'll buy you something you need and want and enjoy. Well, we're gonna wait though. He's gotta, he's gotta, so gotta be here. You gotta let us know. Otherwise, there is that reroll button. Whoa. We're waiting. We're waiting on it. We're waiting on it. He's here. He's here. He says, James Frillman is here. It's a good thing. I was, I was gonna wait. A couple minutes, and then I was going to re-roll it. Since he got back to us so quick, I'm going to re-roll it again. I'm going to do another $500 gift card right now. Ready? So James Filman won. Check that. But another $500. Here we go. Squidney also won one. That's the last one. That's the actual last one. Squidney. An extra 500 Thanks, everybody who supported us this long. We'll try it. We'll tr you know, when we get to the two million, we'll do it again. And or if I'm bored, either one. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate everybody that has helped fund us over the last 14 years. Whether you're in the store, whether you're uh, a member, a fan, an employee. Our employees fund us a lot too. Like they spend their money. They're all fish nerds. You know, my wife, my family. There's so many people. If I listed 100, I would leave out 500 of them. And so uh, that would be sad. So Squidney is here. Oh, my God. You won as well. So there you go. The final $1,000. Hopefully it was worth showing up. I hope you were squirreled away in the corner like everyone's celebrating touchdowns. And you're like, hey, I'm a nerd. Come on, let me win. So that's what I would have been doing. I'd be raiding the chips and the dip and the... Let me get a little taste of that and let me do some stuff on the phone. Oh, we're sports balling. Seems like one's doing a thing. Do we like that thing? That's that's me at the, the Super Bowls. Or like, do we like this team winning? You know, because there's always a rival. There's always like the one guy in the room like, no, I like the other team. And then the rest of the people that like the other team. And so I like to play. Are we are we happy this one's happening? Oh, yeah. Or no. They're, oh, I'm so, uh, yeah. Thanks for everybody who hung out. It was a good time. Hopefully you get to buy some stuff with those gift cards. Lots of new memberships, which is awesome. Don't forget, next week, Saturday, 11 Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we will have a talk from Mike Weiss about epistogrammas. Watch all the old content. You can sync up your account with our online website. Save 5% on everything you buy. And uh, what else? 
uh, probably some other perks and a lot of videos you can watch, all of that. It, by the way, if you could do us a favor, buy all of our crap. That helps every time. Uh, you know, I try to put the sales pitch on. I'll talk about products and their actual benefits, and then I'll talk you out of buying if you don't need it. And then I try to make it quick and easy of like, look, if you need if you need aquarium stuff and it makes sense to buy it from us, do it. We'll try to put your money in good use. Uh, if you want to you know, support Amazon or somebody else, that's fine too. Everybody spends their money in different ways. We will try to give back and do better things and do stuff for the community as we can when it makes sense, barring time and money and all of those things. And so if you like being a, a supporter of that, do. If you can, if you can't, I totally get it. I, I remember when I built the Aquarium Co-op, I was thinking, where can I buy used sponge filters? I bought them at $3 a piece, and I built the store off that. And now I'm in a place where I can afford to give back. I can afford to buy and, and spend money where I think it's going to good. And so I choose to do that. And I, I've been on all sides, for both sides at least, throughout my hobby and my career. And so, uh, you know, I, I like to think I still still live in it. And still know what it feels like. I'm not so far removed that I don't remember what it was like when I had to uh, calculate, can I afford to set up this aquarium? Instead, now I can just go, I'm going to. So, thank you, everybody. I think dinner's ready. Wincy's going nuts. And I've run out of stuff to give away. So, uh, thank you to all the mods. Thanks to everybody who showed up and participated today. And hopefully you had a good time with family regardless. If not, hey, you got the Aquarium Co-op online family. And we're going to find a way to build in member links because I find that awesome. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.